right. Let me actually get out of here so we have a little music playing. Very, very little music, but music numbers. <laughs> but music anyway. We are finally back into some Dragon's Dogma Dark Risen. And oh my god. Oh my god. Was that grind terrible? Why is this not updating to show the... Why are those in the wrong place? Oh, these are in the very wrong place. Great. Nice to uh, notice that very late <laughs> into it. Anyway, that grind was horrible. <laughs> like, most people that I have seen try to grind out a bloody knuckle from the poles. Let me uh, bring something up real quick. Controller layout. Um, uh, boom, 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 boom. Hot keys, quick escapes. Yes, yes. No, that's the one I want. Why does my layout seem weird? Mod triggers. Right trigger action layer. Blah blah blah. Okay, that seems accurate. Is it something in the game? Okay, now it's working. Just whatever. Okay, I was trying to say, most people that I've seen try and pull a bloody knuckle from purifications here on the island will generally end up getting their bloody knuckle within about 10 to 20 purifications. Right, they'll usually get a bloody knuckle within, say, 10 to 20 purified bitter black gear level 3. Uh, excuse me, need to close something real quick. There we go. On my end, off stream, I got the bloody knuckle in 83 purifications. 83. For those who don't understand, that's just purifications. That's just coming up here, talking to her, purifying a couple of items, realizing I didn't get what I needed, resetting the game, and um, recopying over my backup save from before I pulled the items off of the creature. That's just the purifications. Every time I would go and farm from the creature, it could take me anywhere from like one pull, if I got really lucky to get the gear that I needed off of him up to spending an hour and a half straight pulling from him and never getting the item that I needed to purify. Like it generally wouldn't go to like an hour or more, but it could with him just refusing to give me the item. I will say there was one slight benefit that happened about partway through my farming which was in the build up to getting my skills and class and all that up to where I needed them to be so I could steal from this Cyclops and try <laughs> to get the item I wanted. I ended up getting uh, 6,000 Rift Crystals just from, you know, gathering around Bitter Black and things like that before reaching that point where I had my backup save. And uh, it takes 3,000 to purify one of the Bitter Black Gear Level 3s. Now people who are not me and can do basic math in their head might see where I'm going with this. 6,000 Rift Crystals, 3,000 to purify the item I need. Hmm? <laughs> right? Okay, so I could have pulled two of the item each time, come back here, purified them. I figured that out about 15 hours into my grind. About 15 hours into my grind, I realized I could have been purifying two at a time. Now, that did not suddenly make the grind super fast. The... 
the difference between one or two item was not the big problem because like i said when i'm pulling from that creature he could will go an hour if he wanted to without ever giving me the item i wanted and that could happen on the second item as well what it did cut down on is every time i come up here and i purify and it's not the item i need i have to then leave the game go back to the main menu then I have to go to another tab where I have my backup save, copy it over the game's internal save so that I'm using that backup save. That only takes about a minute. But like exiting the game, going back to the main menu, reloading back into the game, that takes about a minute too, right? So maybe even a little more than a minute. So I could usually save myself about two minutes if i do that process like reloading into the game fewer times plus teleporting back out to here and running up to her grand total i could probably save myself about three minutes anytime i don't have to reload so having to reload half as often over time that definitely ended up saving me probably like an hour or more so it wasn't a huge time save, but uh, it helped. Anyway, grand total grinding time because the game just refused to give me what I needed. 27 hours, 13 minutes. But I win. <laughs> I guess I win. Also, I talked about Bloody Knuckle multiple times before where I thought it was like a 50% damage increase so that equipping one bloody knuckle you would then be able to do like 150% normal unarmed damage I was wrong about that at least I think uh, according to the wikis which I looked up again uh, just to double check this because I wasn't 100% sure of that it is apparently a 100% increase so it's double it doubles your unarmed damage. And if you equip two of them, then that's four times your unarmed damage. So effectively, and this is not perfect, because there are multiple calculations that go into like actual how much damage you do, but effectively, I am fighting unarmed as if I have about 268 strength right now, instead of 134. And every single point I get in strength will then double the amount that that strength contributes to my... Uh, every point I get in strength will effectively give me two points of strength for adding to my unarmed damage calculation, right? And if when I, I eventually get a second bloody knuckle, then I'll be doing, like I said, four times as much that will be much more useful much more useful than i thought it would be in the meantime however my let's get out of here now my course is unchanged I, if there is also i should toss do i want to toss that yeah yeah if there is i need I to do, for now my course if there is change do, to warrior now that I'm here, now that I actually have the item I need, I don't need to be Strider to steal it anymore. Changing to Warrior at this point in the game gives me the highest amount of strength per level possible. I can finally get rid of that dagger. I don't need it. No, none of those. Red gloves red boots the pants really ought to be yellow but i haven't found any yellow pants that work and then one of the only white capes in the game that actually kind of works for it uh bloody knuckle goes in slot one just to be sure this can go in slot two if there is aught i can do say it any skills i desperately need obviously none of those obviously none of those reduce damage in physical attacks um Sure, because I have the space for it. I don't super need it. Like I said, I'm playing this on normal mode. I don't super need the reduced damage. 
it's not as useful anyway. On normal mode, I believe this is a straight up physical damage reduction of like 50 points, I believe. So any physical attack will do 50 points less damage to you. Uh, if you're actually playing on hard mode, I believe these, like, reduce damage sustained in, right? Especially these greatly ones. I think it increased to, like, 250. So these are actually far more useful when you're playing on hard mode than they are normal mode. If there is aught I can do, say it. For now, my course is unchanged. I sh if there Manage is stored items. I can get rid of some stuff now. I should also pick some things up, actually, while I'm here. I wasn't thinking about that. Ding. I'll take all the potent. Do I care about the mushrooms? I use them more for, like, running to locations. And fighting unarmed doesn't actually take any stamina, I think. So I have even less reason to hold on to them. A liquid vim, just in case. Mmm, yeah. I do want interventive. I don't care about eyedropper. I do want at least one secret softener, just to be sure. I'm going to want a handful of these. Let's say 16 for now. I'll hold on to the port crystal. The one pilgrim charm, just in case. Uh, the eternal fairy stone, absolutely. Flask of oil, just in case. Uh, I might want the worm hunt license back because I'm making story progress. I have a handful of, like, spare of all of these things. Don't care about the wake stones. I don't want to use wake stones right now. If there is that should be everything do, I'll need. For now, my I should get more unchanged. potent green wire though. Because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Fighting unarmed is design. not very useful in this game. That's part of the reason it's a challenge run. But, like, you have to get close, and it's slow, and you take a lot of damage. Have I actually progressed to the point where I've opened up the... Yes, I have. Okay. North Face Forest. Oh, yeah, I put that one up right by the... Uh, the Dragon Forge. Yes, it is. It's red, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see where we are, because I've pretty much forgotten that. General kill quests, plain old kill quests. These are some... This one's useful, because this is the way I'm going to get my second Bloody Knuckle. But I need to Dragon Forge an item. So, two things. Either I'm not going to get this until after I face the dragon in the main story. I don't think I'm going to let it drag on that long. Haha, <laughs> drag on. <laughs> Sorry, terrible sense of humor. I don't think I'm going to let it wait that long. There are other dragons in the game that you can go to and fight before you fight the main dragon in the game. That exists just out in the world. I think I'm going to dragon forge some item by using one of these dragons, but I need to be strong enough to actually kill one of these dragons which is going to take a while because I'm going to be punching him in the heart. Plus the fact that I'm using unarmed, there might really only be one of them that I could feasibly fight well. I mean, I could climb on some of the others and get to their heart, but there's one specific type that actually has its heart like right in the center of its chest on the bottom. So I could just like run up to him and punch it rather than having to climb on him. And that might be the one I'll go for. The thing is, they have less chance to dragon forge your gear. When you face uh, Grigori, which... Grigori? Yeah, that's the right name. Which is the dragon, the dragon in the storyline. He basically dragon forges every single piece of gear you had on you equipped when you faced off against him. Alright? 100% guarantee. Every other dragon in the game has a percentage-based chance to forge to dragon forge your gear, which increases based on how enhanced your gear is before facing the dragon, as well as each dragon individually. 
like each dragon has a set percentage chance that they'll dragon forge your gear and then add on top of that a little more if you've enhanced your gear to like rank one rank two or rank three before that right the closer you are the further you are enhanced the easier it is to dragon forge your gear uh the saurians in the well i might be able to fight now but i'm gonna hold off on that uh the grimoire and the bandits hideouts not too bad i could drop a crystal down there while i'm down there Oh yeah, I'm up to the point where I'm going after the... I wish I could just delete these. I shouldn't have them anyway. I'm going after the Stone of the Southwest now. Shit. Should I try and go through... Ugh. If I try and go through the tunnel, I have to take down two ogres. I seriously don't think that's happening. Hmm. I mean, Stone of the Southwest ain't the best either. I think my better bet would be to try and go through the well, out the other side, and just run out to it. I, I would normally go through the tunnel. The... <laughs> The tunnel that's out here, I think? No. The tunnel is... Out around here. The quarry or whatever. I would normally go through the quarry because it has a point. That's a great wall encampment. Stone of the Southwest is down here. The quarry starts up here and you can go through it and it'll exit out like over here. But in order to do the quarry quest... Uh, which is the only way to go through the quarry. Well, no. You might be able to get through the quarry without doing the quest. But it's the only way to, like, open up the quarry as a good travel option. Uh, you have to actually kill two ogres. And I don't think I can take them down just yet. With my strength being what it is. I still think I'm gonna be, like, hard-pressed to fight most things. With the Conqueror's Periaps, maybe I could take down Ogres. It won't be a good fight. You know what? I can try. I can try. I'm going to go ahead and Grand Soren. I'm going to pick up a bunch of potent green wares, Like, as many as I can get my hands on. Because... I'm going to take damage fighting this Ogres. Uh, three? Yeah. Uh, not... One, five, I don't know why that keeps resetting every time. Whatever. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see if there are any other quests I can pick up that might just give me a little bit of experience here or there. Back over here. We don't find them yeah, 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 I know. That'll work for now. Let's keep it under the weight limit there. Mushroom, house food. No, 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 no. No, I should be good. More interventives would be kind of nice, actually. But I won't keep it under the weight limit for now. Take all the time. Do come again. Okay. Uh, the other benefits would be fighter could get me sinew so i could carry more items it would help with healing i don't really want to rank up as fighter right now i don't really want to spend time ranking up as another class at the moment but maybe i should actually go for sinew and then leg strength is the other one that can help but i don't even remember what class that was was that also fighter it was something like that i don't remember anyway let's head out and let's go for the quarry and see how we do right now i mostly just want to keep leveling up as warrior to get a bunch of strength also i'm back to playing 
terrible way. When I'm not playing on this challenge account, when I'm playing on my own, I definitely play with a mod or two that are mostly quality of life things, like getting rid of stamina consumption when I'm just sprinting around so it's only happening when I'm fighting, stuff like that, you know? So that I don't have to deal with that kind of nonsense. So it always feels a little clunky playing this game normally. But I shouldn't be using mods when I'm doing challenges. Okay, okay, I can do some real damage now. I mean, it's still not a ton. This is a pretty simple creature to fight, but hey, it's some damage at least. I really don't want to fight those stupid birds. What? Okay, did they just swoop down and hit that ox, I think? I should still be okay. I'm looking for a trail and a bunch of goblins. Hi, goblins. Oh my god! The random freaking griffin attack. Ugh. It's so annoying. But hey, I'm actually able to do some fighting now, so that's fun. Can we not? Please? Eventually he'll leave. He does do that, but... Like, he's just gonna hang around and pester me for a while. Also, I'm surprised he's not, like, stunning anymore. Shit, shit, shit. Leave! Go away! No one wants you here. Oh boy. Fine, let's just run. He only really appears in, like, that one area. And it's random chance if that happens at all, but... Of course... I'm playing some stupid challenge run that makes me do, like, no damage at all, so of course he showed up. Yeah, see, I'm still doing very little damage. Luckily, every sing like I said, every single point of strength will increase that double, but... Like, twice as much as it normally would. If I had a second bloody knuckle, I might be doing pretty good damage at this point, but even then, not much. Because I'm still just low level. It's mostly just level, honestly, at this point. I need as much strength as I can get now. It's the only real other option besides that second bloody knuckle for increasing my damage output is just more strength. Hmm, money. It's only three million. I must have deleted by going up to backup saves to reshuffle the purifications and all that, as well as just throwing away because it was taking up too much weight in my inventory while I was trying to get the item from the Gore Cyclops, like 50, 60 million worth of items I could have sold. But at least I'm doing some damage. This isn't a ton. Like, if I just popped on... If I took off the Bloody Knuckle and just popped on, like, one or two Conker's Periaps, I could do this kind of damage. So it's not a huge increase. Yeah, I'm getting knocked down less often. That's always nice. I'm surprised I'm getting knocked down less often, though, because I'm not really wearing anything that add that aids in, like, reduced knockback. Would you fucking stop throwing rocks? <laughs> oh, hey, babe. Hey, babe. And just keep using up my healing items like crazy. Welcome in, Dan. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. This is the quest. These are also kind of a pain in the ass. These quests to do solo because of the fact that there are multiple uh, pressure plates. 
inside that you need to deal with for the quest and they're all like the more weight you put on them the better kind of thing i can get, i should be able to get the ogres to like jump on them and set them off for me but even then it's gonna be a pain and like i said i don't even know if i'll be able to kill these ogres honestly all these little creatures though it's just free xp The battle at the uh, Stone of the Southwest is going to be a pain in the butt, too. There's a lot of little goblins, which is not terrible. It's all ogre. Because <laughs> I can fight goblins, and I can deal damage to them and kill them and things like that. But it's like 30 goblins at once kind of thing. And uh, multiple enemies is more of a pain. Oh man, this just doesn't want to... Great. Yeah, just going to be f straight up slow. Let's just skip that for now. I thought I might be able to grab some things and weigh it down, but really, I doubt it. I don't even remember if these things apply weight to the pressure plates on their own without you standing there. Jesus. Yeah, no. That's why I hate pressure plates. Every time I'm doing a solo run, pressure plates are like the worst thing you have to deal with. Because it always expects you to have three pawns. It's like, uh, no, that's not happening, thanks. Oh my god. A bunch of bandits with a bunch of really terrible weapons. Great. Oh, shit. Look at all these guys with... Nope! Yeah, of course he is. Oh my god, the damage I'm dealing is shit. Where did all these fucking bandits come from suddenly? Really? Fucking blind- Ah, fucking blindness? Really? I finally went like, I'm gonna stop carrying eyedroppers. I never need to carry them in a normal playthrough, so I probably shouldn't need them again anytime soon. Every fucking enemy gets blindness. Fuck, no, interventive doesn't work. It's the wrong thing. Need a light cure for blindness. Like, every- Like- I'm gonna stream the game. Every fucking enemy gets a shitty, terrible visual effect. Of course they do. Every enemy just spams garbage visual effects to make the stream look as terrible as possible. Great, good, yeah. I can't knock him down in one. <laughs> Telling me the enemy used pocket sand? Yes, yes, they did. These fucking... These assholes that are leashing at just the worst possible times so that I can't get, like, one around the corner. I have to get, like, ten around the corner at once or nothing. Really, having the uh, increased knockdown ring would be very useful as well in all honesty but that's another thing that i'd have to purify for and i'm not fucking doing that not after 87 purifications and 27 hours of grinding i'm not doing that because i think that item is actually in the exact same purification list as the bloody knuckle well Celebration. Thank you for the follow, Daniel. I will. Fuck off. Nope, nope. God damn. Why is that so fast? 
You know what? I fucking hate this tunnel. I think I'm just gonna give up now. I haven't even gotten to the ogre, and it's already a pain in my ass. I'm just gonna go around, I think. The new photo appears. Yep. Also, I'm literally just, like, gathering here on the off chance that maybe I get lucky and get a light cure or some shit. Because you haven't reached the ogre. But it's already ogre. God damn it, Baron. <laughs> yes, I am. I think I'm... I think this is a sign to just give up on doing this stupid tunnel. If, like, literally bandits are just pestering the fuck out of me. And I haven't even gotten to the ogre yet. And it's like, you can't kill these things and they're constantly going to blind you. Make your stream as shit as it possibly can. Then I think I'm just going to stop letting them do that. Yeah. No. With no light cures and enemies are suddenly just aggressively... I don't get that either. I will play through this game off stream fucking 50 times in a row... Almost never deal with a single enemy who bothers to try blindness on anything ever. Like, they don't bother using the effect ever. Right? And then I start streaming, and every fucking enemy who can use blindness does as hard as they possibly can. Forget that. They're shy. It's like... Like... Eye droppers and light cures are things that I almost never carry on me in any normal playthrough. Like, ever. Because I rarely ever encounter anything I really need them for, and it takes up inventory space. But now? Just fucking spam it, I guess. <sighs> Fuck me, I guess I'm carrying some light cures. I have no interest in doing your quest, dude. As you will. I have no interest whatsoever in doing your quest. There are a couple of eye drops, I suppose. God forbid I'd be able to see golems. Probably not, but I'll take it. Actually, you know, just climbing on a golem and punching him with your fists is not a terrible way to deal with them. Also, I can try and fight these Saurians, but even then, I don't think... Although, with Conker's Periaps, I might be able to deal with these Saurians. Mushrooms, don't care. No, jump and punch, stupid. <laughs> Punching is even slower when you're on the ground. Always jump. like the slowest thing imaginable. Can't stop here. This is back country. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see how this works. Not terrible. I can, in fact, take on Saurians. I mean, there's, like, too many here. And they like to jump. And just, like, Dragoon jump me, basically. Which is a pain in the ass. Oh, nice fucking spin, dude. Normally it wouldn't matter, because, you know, I would take off their tail in, like, one hit. But... Now. There we go. Okay, but I can deal with them. Yes, I can deal with the tail even faster if I can get uh, heavy attacks on it. I can get on the ground and stay on the ground. Why is this guy taking longer? Is this a stronger Saurian, or am I just, like, not doing damage to him? Oh, did my fucking... My job today, I told my boss that I had called a customer. 
I said exactly, I've called the customer in those words. Did it already wear off? It already wore off. Oh my god, parry apps are terrible. Have you called the customer? <laughs> Thanks, boss. You idiots, man. Let's try and get this guy to come at me so I don't have to deal with that one on the wall. Yes, of course I have. I just said I did. Yep. Fucking Periap wore off in like 30 seconds. I thought it lasted longer than that. I do not remember Periaps being this fucking fast. Those fuckers just spinning, spinning, spinning like crazy, aggressively keeping me away from his tail. I'm gonna have to carry like 150 fucking periaps on me at any given time if they're gonna wear off this fast. And she expects. What did she expect I did? Just open the goddamn window and shouted her name and decided that wasn't enough. It was mad, a little mad. Yep. Yep. All this fucking water, too. You know what they could have made a ton of money off of? Is just giving you a lantern available in this game at any point that, like, didn't care if you got drenched. But instead, no. They categorized that under a fucking ring, which made it even more useless. Because why would you ever use up a ring slot for that? Oof. Good, I'm leveling up. You fucking... That was a fast attack. That was... It's just repeat tail, 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 tail as far as hard as he possibly can. Oh, look. My parry app already wore off. I think that's like maybe 60 seconds. Maybe. I guess that's about right. Parry apps don't last long. But it feels like it's even fucking faster. It feels like 10 seconds and it's just gone. Ugh, those fucking tailless ones just run even faster. You know, I have to use more parry apps because I'm never going to be able to knock him down without parry apps. It's a given and he's just going to run, 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 run as fast as possible and avoid everything. At least if I knock him down, I can deal with him. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Dealt with it. You know what? I'm actually gonna go back to him. Normally I wouldn't bother to do this. I would press on. Through the cave and just go do a different quest. And then come back later and report to Paul. But right now, every single point of strength increases my ability to actually be able to fight here. Every single point of strength is worth so much more to me right now. Did these rats seriously respawn? In the amount of time I spent down there fighting the... They did. In the amount of time I spent down there fighting the Saurians, everything respawned. That's insane to me. It's gotta be at least like a full day. There's no way I was down there that long. I was only down there for like 15 minutes. Yeah, whatever. Um, the fact this took me 20 minutes to resolve, apparently because I added a probably in the email at some point. I added uncertainty, so she had to keep asking until she was sure. Your uncertainty is my certainty. I chose the wrong ch- yeah. Your uncertainty is not my fucking problem, lady. It's just not. Okay, I don't care about any of the items I could get in here. I did bring the port crystal with me, right? Yes, good. I don't ever want to have to wander down to the south area again in my life. So I'm just going to drop a port crystal there so I can just teleport next time. <clears throat> Poison. Potent greenwash. I'll take those. 
I don't really care about the Mithridate or the Grand Grapes. Healer's Robe is worthless. <clears throat> I don't think I'm ever going to be playing a mage of any kind. Mm, yeah, I'm really not. I might do some other classes to get certain augments. Things like that, maybe. But uh, for the most part, from this point on, it's going to be Warrior or Assassin. And that's only if I manage to get up to, like, level 100. Then I'll switch to Assassin. The only time I don't play a mage is when there is an engineer. Unfortunately, mage and sorcerer are about the worst thing I could possibly do for this playthrough. Like I said, the only thing that can really make me more capable in this playthrough, uh, beyond the two bloody knuckles, is more strength. If mage and sorcerer are the worst for strength growth. Uh, desiccated herbs might come in handy. Having more healing options never hurts for when I unexpectedly run out of potent greenwarish. Okay. That cut off a lot of travel time. I should be able to pick up the tome while I'm down here too. I don't even have to fight for that one. Could probably try and fight like everything I encounter, but these are wolves, and wolves are always a pain in the ass, and I don't really want to deal with them at the moment. But if I can grab one or two on the run around. Nope, now that they're running away from me, I'm not even interested. If I can get them to chase me up here, though, that'll be nice, because this rock might be able to deal with them. Oh, what the fuck was that angle? I was far enough in, that rock should not have touched me. Whatever. Just fucking make up physics as we go, I guess. Like, I've done that dozens of times. That rock should not have been able to touch me from there. want me come and get me nope fucking lunging i hate when they lunge it's almost always gonna knock me down this fucking step back step back step back step back every time you take a swing you just step back one step thing is fucking the reason why i hate wolves they're not even hard to fight it's just you can never fucking connect with them because they made the unarmed so god awful slow in this game like, you don't fight like a martial artist, you fight like a drunk moron stumbling around. <laughs> drunken, not drunken master. Not by a long shot is it drunken master. It's drunken idiot is what it is. Drunken master would be interesting. This is just, like, so boring. <laughs> See, it takes you so long to wind up this fucking bullshit haymaker swing every time that does no damage that every enemy just like steps back one step and you miss. Especially wolves. Wolves, this happens every fucking time. The wolves just hop, 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 and you're swinging at fucking air. It's pub brawler. Kinda. That's a little more what it is, really. Plus, every single change in elevation by the slightest degree makes your attacks just fucking whiff every single swing. Right? God forbid you're two millimeters higher than your enemy. Every single attack is just going to miss everything. There we go. But these are pretty good. It's pretty good XP, right? So it's like it's worth trying to fight the wolves if I can. 
And if I can get them caught in that section where they're like just about to bite me, then they don't really jump away. The problem is any attempt to fight more than one thing at once. Oh! Oh yeah, I turned that off on a previous stream. I forgot about that. Trigger fire was busted, so I turned it off on a previous stream. Looks like they fixed their problem. <laughs> like, trigger fire was completely borked the last time I tried to uh, stream. And, like, it was literally like a 503 bad gateway, blah, 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 whatever, when I tried to connect to their <laughs> server. Right? So I just shut it off. I can still hear, so that's fine. As long as you can hear the screaming. I don't even want to try and punch the one that's standing up. <laughs> like, I managed to get him. Lucky me. But I really want to bother. Oh my god, it's very. It says everything, I guess. It's <laughs> everything at once, Baron. <laughs> Oh, come on, wait. Hold it. Hold it. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Thanks, Baron. <clears throat> Gotta get that quality control test in there. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, yeah, great. Good, I'm in an abusive relationship. Just... Beat me water, up and, and then be water, like, water, oh, let me get you a head. Is someone water, bullying water, you? Let me water. pat your head from the bully. Uh, fresh water. I am not going to bother going to Witchwood. There's no reason. <clears throat> Fucking emote, man. Let's see if I can actually fight these guys. Oh, that's fucking terrible damage. And I've only got these four left. Once I put down the port crystal, I'm gonna need to go back and get even more of these fucking things because, you know, I can't fight. Oh, this fucking lunge almost one shot me. Ah, oh, it's fucking fighters! Standing just outside range, and then they're just throwing themselves 500 fucking yards at me. Fuck you. This is fucking damage. That had to have been a ranger that hit me there. This is fucking just like stumble, stagger, stumble, stagger, stagger, stumble, fucking stun bullshit with the fighter has to stop. Rangers need to go. My fucking. I've already almost completely used up my, uh. Parry app. Fucking. Stop kicking! Never fucking kick. It's the most worthless thing. There goes my parry app, which means now I'm doing like zero fucking damage. And this stupid archer is just gonna keep running out. Fuck him. Toss him. God damn it. Can't deal with humans. They move too much. I just need fucking 10,000 parry apps. I'm done. Leaving. Fuck it. <laughs> Twitch emo. <laughs> Life. It's not even this. It's just fucking trash. Parry apps last like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, something like that. And you need four of them to stack to do any real damage, which means you basically need to carry a thousand of them with you everywhere. Plus they weigh a lot. So basically your entire inventory needs to be Conker's parry apps for probably half the game or more that's most likely going to be the case of this challenge run because unarmed is such terrible damage i'm probably going to need to amplify it with conquerors periaps 
for most of the playthrough just against normal enemies and i'm still going to need to amplify it against bosses for the whole playthrough but i do that generally i don't really count that as a problem because i usually will carry a handful of counters periaps with me for boss fights on any playthrough just because it makes them so fast on this playthrough i'm going to need to carry like 50 conquerors periaps for a boss fight because it's going to take like that long just to get to the fight <laughs> through the fight <clears throat> i think this is it yep salamence grimoire which can be used as a one-off i think it's the firewall sorcerer attack i don't remember what that one is called like a single time and it gets destroyed after that or you can use it to finish the quest okay <laughs> i probably should just go back and get periaps now put down the port crystal here but this isn't the ideal place for it stay still and accept your fisting Pretty much. Alright, I'll drop it here for the moment and then pick it up again. That'll let me go back and finish off the Grimoire quest. So I don't have to carry this thing around in my inventory. And also so I can get a, a bit more XP. <clears throat> I don't remember how much XP it's worth. Maybe like 10,000 or something. We'll see. New quest? Nope none okay let's go deal with the grimoire and just pick up a ton of periaps which means he'll also come out and help me fight the griffin later which will be useful because fighting a flying fucking bird monster with your fists is real smart at least i'll have him throwing some fireballs any you like, what will it be today? None of that. Controlled fall, I suppose. It's controlled fall is like the most worthless of all the movement skills. Literally, mages get their levitate. Not the most useful thing, but it does have its uses. The the rogue types get their uh, dodge roll and a double jump by far the most useful fucking fighter types get you can fall five extra feet and tuck and roll to not take damage like who gives a fuck about any of that lethality of core skills absolutely because guess what counts as a core skill my punches and kicks count as core skills so ferocity is super useful you can go i don't need you what will it be today have your pick what will it be today withdraw i'm definitely gonna want sinew uh. what will it be to yeah your pick? i'm gonna want life. sinew like i'm aggressively going to want sinew uh let me double check leg strength really quick Because I'm going to want both of them. I don't remember which one gets it. Strider at 9? Oh, I should have just finished leveling up Strider then. Well, there you go. Okay. Let me... Switch back to Strider for now so I can get it to 9. I can hate having to re-equip everything every time you change vocations. Uh, both rings of perseverance for now. Have your pick. Any you like. What would it be we're today? gonna be doing this the old way. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again. All right, here we go. So where are these escorts going? Shadow Fort, Floodwater Beach. Those are both down in that area. 
But I'd rather move the port crystal to a better location first. Shit. I don't have a port crystal to put up here with the goblins, which means I'm going to have to do this the slow way. <clears throat> oh well. So be it. Then once I switch to fighter, I think I'll just run around with fighter. If I gain a few levels on fighter, it's not the end of the world. Of course, now I don't have the bloody knuckle, which means these fights are going to take even longer. And again, this is not great XP from these things. I should just fight the goblins, I think. Yeah, let's just go fight the goblins. Let's stop wasting our time here and we'll just start throwing goblins off the cliff again. Leg strength and sinew are absolutely going to be necessary. The sheer number of Conqueror's Parry apps I'm going to need to carry at any given time on this playthrough, leg strength and sinew are going to be a necessity for most of it. I could fight these guys, but they're not really in a good position. There's not a great cliff for me to throw them off of. These ones up here are much better. Alright. Just a little more. It may take a couple of runs to get me up to rank 9. It's the worst friggin' rank. <laughs> oh, I'm doing pretty good damage against them. Anywho. I can actually fight these little ones. The big goblins I'm still going to need to try and throw off cliffs because, simply put, the damage output's terrible against the hobgoblins. But if I can at least deal with these guys... Oh, blast arrows. Those would be so useful on the other playthrough. I'm leveling up my other account, just like speed leveling and stuff like that, so things like blast arrows are super useful. Oh yeah, I went back to Strider so I can actually roll. Forgot about that. No, no, please, dodge, fucking mashing dodge roll here, game. Bye. Bye-bye. Just slam the dodge roll button as hard as I can, but no, once they've got you in a chain, fucking lock you down. Refuse to let you move for one millimeter as they just wail on you. No one cares about your stupid rocks just fall already. Really? I'm getting knocked down again? I guess it's because I was Warrior? Does Warrior have an innate knockdown resistance? That I've forgotten about. Fuck that stupid chain attack. Like, I don't have all day here. This XP thing will wear off eventually, game. Uh-huh, of course. I could just stand there and waste everyone's fucking time, why don't you? Much better. Bye bye Nope. Can't use it. Uh-huh. I'm even gonna waste time trying to like lure people out anymore. Like if they won't follow me, then I'm just gonna stop. Bye bye. Bye bye. 
Still leveling up his strider is not the best, but whatever. Yeah, of course. Every time you get one of the little goblins down, the big guys will just, like, start fucking flailing as hard as they can at you. <laughs> as you go to try and pick him up. Skipping him. He doesn't want to come out and play. I got limited XP buff, and I am using it. Mostly the big guys now. There's one or two little ones left. Come on, boys. If you want to play? Let's play. Yeah, that's right. Flail at nothing, idiot. Come on. Just need to get a little closer. Come on. Nope, nope. Oh, God. That, that definitely should have taken me off of that cliff. Dude, this guy's just being annoying now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Just spur to kick him off a cliff, why don't I? <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh, there goes my entire progress. Oh, no, wait. Off the cliff into the water means I just respawn up top. Off the cliff onto the ground where I get a game over, it just fucking takes out the entire run. But off the cliff into the water, I just respawn. Also, the XP buff's gone. I could just go back and restart this now. But there's a couple more I can get off the cliff pretty easily. And it's not as good XP, but it's still some. Come on. You know you want to lunge at me. There you go. See, it's not great XP without the buff, but... Since I don't have a port crystal up here, it's not the best place to be teleporting anyway. So I may as well use up everything I can. Normal green just don't care. She's gonna be weighing me down for very little healing. This makes it even worse that, like, the best attack you can possibly do unarmed is when you, like, jump and smack them. But it also, that makes the elevation problem, like, that much worse. he showed up right then uh, yep there we go bye-bye how'd that even hit me still it's annoying all right good enough maybe one more run Maybe. I should be pretty close to nine. Although maybe not, actually. Because as soon as I hit eight and got Master Thief, I probably just took off. For the uh, grind. So it may actually be a little longer. 36, that's fine. That's enough. Have you 
What will it be today? Understood. Next morning. I forgot that I was back on Strider. Like, I don't want to do the grind to get fighter up to get sinew because both it'll be somewhat easy to do just by playing as fighter for a little while. I only need to get to rank five, I think, to get sinew. And as you may have noticed from Warrior, it's like already rank three or four, I think. So those first few ranks on any given vocation are not too hard. All right. I should be able to get fighter up pretty quickly in like 20, 30 minutes, maybe. Uh, once I actually find something to fight. So I don't really want to do this grind, but also because I don't want to make this run. Because I don't have a port crystal up here, I can't just teleport back like I did when I was doing the big strider grind up to 8. Where I just sleep, teleport back, sleep, teleport back, right? Um... I don't want to try and do that as fighter because fighter can't do this. And this allows me to keep making the run at a pretty fast pace while still being able to get my stamina back. Let's just try and get a bunch of attention really quick. A lot of these people will eventually just give up chasing me, but if I can get a bunch of them close to a cliff face first... That'll at least give me sort of a good start for my XP grind. This'll work. I still love that he can be shrieking to the heavens and block my attack simultaneously. That's just stupid. Oh god, they're throwing fucking darkness stuff at me again. There we go. There we go. Come on, idiots. You know you want to. I mean, I'm standing right here, literally against a cliff you could throw me off of. You know you want to. No, you're not throwing darkness shit at me. See, now they're lunging. I get closer to them away from the cliff face and they just start throwing themselves at me. That stupid fucking flail. I hate that attack so much, man. Bye-bye. Fucking hate that attack, man. It's so stupid. Not because it hits you. It's not just the attack. It's that the attack has such fucking powerful stun bullshit on it. So that when they do hit you with a single tap of that flail, you're basically just stun locked into oblivion so they hit you with every single follow-up attack in its chain. Come on, you know you want me. I mean, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Come on. Fuck it, going over here now. I'm not gonna sit here and waste time on idiots who just keep playing fucking keep away with the ledge. It just wastes my XP levels. Or my XP time. Nope. Nope. Okay, you don't want to play? I'll just keep throwing your little friends off cliffs. Like, if you're not going to play with me, I'm just going to keep throwing the little guys off cliffs.
Bye bye. Come on. Come on. There you go. <clears throat> Very good. Come on now. It's fucking... Like when his animations do not match up to his shield even remotely. Where his animations are like all over the place and yet I go for a swing and it's like tink off of his shield that's nowhere near his body. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to chase me, go ahead. Bye. What the hell was that aim? <laughs> like, that was not aim. Game. That was literally the opposite of aiming. What are you pointing at? Oh man, am I gonna have to do this a third time? I mean, I'm reaching that point. That last ninth rank is kind of a pain in the ass. On any vocation. Bye bye. And my XP buff is gone. You want me? Come get me. All of you big guys, go ahead and chase me. Oh, great. They're flailing like insane bastards now that I've picked up the little one. Nope. No darkness. I need to be careful on this side. If I fall on this side, I lose the entire grind of this one grind, at least, until the last time I teleported, basically. Bye bye Yeet the goblin child. <laughs> Pretty much. May as well. Goblins are terrible. Like, I could fight the little ones, but honestly, most of this is just faster to chuck them. Points. Why not? There's still anyone here? They all eventually run off the cliff. Yeah, we've pretty much gotten everyone. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this a third time to get up to nine. But leg strength is... useful. Not necessity. Necessity is a little far, but... It's super fucking useful. If you want me, come and get me. More blaster. Jesus Christ. Whoop! No? Yes? Please? No? God damn it! <laughs> I figured that wasn't gonna work, but what the hell. There goes that entire grind session down the drain. Can't believe I went off the cliff. I thought I was fucking further. I thought I was further down than I was. That there was that lower ledge below me. But nope. Just fucking yeet myself off a cliff, why don't I? This is why I fucking hate fighting the goblins on that side. At least if I go off into the water, I just drop back on the fucking land. I, re I could take wake stones, but I really don't want to take wake stones for this trash. But, I mean, 
what else am I going to use Wake Stones on, really? <clears throat> By the time I'd reach a point where it's like, oh, the bosses are so strong, I should take Wake Stones in case they kill me type of shit, the, really, I'll have higher strength and be doing some real actual damage by that point so i guess if i'm not going to use wake stones on fucking dumb shit like this then what am i going to use them on oh well too bad i'm already out of town where the hell is everyone Oh my god. Oh god, is this the autosave from before I... Oh yeah. Sometimes when you sleep at an inn, it autosaves before you actually slept. So you wake up in the inn, and then you need to fucking sleep again. Because you didn't actually sleep yet. Come on. That's not the right attack, idiot. Shut up. Literally no one cares. No, there's still some guys up here. But not many. Yeah, this is before I slept. Oh, fuck that timing. You did not get your defense back up that fast. Stop squirming. Just give up already. Okay. Gonna have to do it again. This time I'm taking a wake stone with me. Because why the hell not? It is like so... I don't know. The whole wake stone system is kind of terrible. Because you're never going to want to carry them on you. You don't fucking plan for failure. So the fact that they have to actually take up inventory space and weight capacity is the most worthless trash imaginable. You end up with like hundreds of wake stones and you never fucking touch them. Because what you get sent back to when you die is usually so close that it's like, why would I care if I die? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna lose, what, five minutes of progress if I die? This is like the only situation I've ever been in where it's actually a pain in my ass if I die. Because I lose an entire grind session. Okay. I mean, come on, just give me fucking rank 9 already, game. It is not this fucking hard. All for one terrible augment that I would never use in a normal playthrough. Because I would delete that fucking shitty part of the game in any normal playthrough. Like I said, when I'm not doing a, like, stream challenge run, blah blah blah, you know, all this stuff where I really should be playing the game vanilla to, to make it, like, as real as possible... I absolutely install mods that, like, remove stamina from running, that remove the weight limit bullshit, and let me just carry, like, 10,000 kilograms of weight, because fuck off. Like, those are, the, those are the most worthless systems in any game I have ever played that I do not like every time they show up, which is encumbrance limit and fucking stamina drain from worthless stuff. I get when games have a stamina system in them for, like, when you're fighting and stuff, but, like, stamina drain from just, like, jogging to one location to another is such garbage. And encumbrance is terrible. Encumbrance is terrible in every game it has ever been in. I fucking hate weight limit systems. Kind of amazing how much I still love Dragon's Dogma, <laughs> given that it uses all these systems. But like I said, I fucking mod those systems out when I'm playing normally and casually. I think I still have to do this entire run plus a little more. Because I think that deleted the whole... Yeah. 
the whole previous run, so I should have to do this entire run through and another one. Hi, everyone. Come on, I'm right here. Don't you want to get... Pay attention to me. Chase me. Throw me off a cliff. Kind of like this. No, apparently they don't. They forgot I was there five seconds after I ran past their faces. Are you coming? Fuck, man. How long do I have to wait for you idiots? Great. This fucking stun on goblin swings is insane. There we go. That took care of that. The sheer level that goblins, like shitty goblin attacks are able to stun you is so pointless. I get I'm not wearing good armor, I'm not high level, so I'm gonna get stunned by a lot of stuff that wouldn't stun at like a normal playthrough. But still, like shitty goblin wildly flailing should not have anywhere near that level of like stun to it. Not interested. Wrong attack, idiot. Woo! He almost shoved me off the cliff there. Bye. <laughs> that guy is so easy to bait out. What are you swinging at? Oh, come on. God damn darkness. Stop. Oh no, that's not darkness. That's an oil one. Okay, I thought it was a darkness one and it just didn't uh, give me enough of the debuff to actually cause it yet. But nope, that's an oil. Which means everyone's going to start throwing fireballs at me now. See? Firebombs. 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 Fucking mash the dodge as hard as I can. Let's see if sometime in the next millennium they'll let me get out of that fucking stun lock. Come on. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Come on, idiots. It ain't this hard. Just throw yourselves at me. Yeet yourselves at me as hard as you possibly can. It ain't that difficult. I'm just gonna start fucking knocking people down. Oh, where did that one even come from? Finally. I'm sick of these shield guys. No one wants your fucking fireballs. Throw yourself at me. Ugh, whatever. I'm going over here now. <laughs> like, just waste my XP buff as long as they possibly can by just fucking playing this back and forth bullshit with the ledges. <clears throat> Will you fucking stop? Rocks do no damage. No knockback, no nothing. Yeah, yeah, horns, horns, horns. Get your asses out here and fight me. No. Not vials, not rocks, not throwing items, nothing. Fucking throw yourself at me. Ah, oh, there goes my XP buff. These fuckers just 
completely wasted it this time around. Just blowing hours standing around doing nothing of any value. Oh, now he wants to lunge. Fuck off. Bye bye. Fine, I'll deal with this idiot then. Those guys aren't going to come at me, they just fuck off. I'm tired of playing this fucking tug of war bullshit with them. Just ignore them then. If their AI is going to go all fucking janky around the ledges this time around, then I'm just going to ignore them. They're wasting my time. Actually, they did waste my time. My XP is gone. No one cares. No one cares about your stupid fucking attacks there. Fuck off. Look at them just doing all the attacks I want them to do away from the ledge. He'll just lunge himself like crazy at me. did fall, right? Good. Wow, did he just... Nope, of course he didn't. That'd be too useful. Like, I could just keep buying healing items for fucking years here, dude. You're not helping the cause at all. Just go off the ledge. Fucking stop. Come on. Go. Fucking Christ. This fucking angle of like. No, I'm a quarter of a tenth of a fucking nanometer from the ledge. I'm not actually off of it. Fuck off. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a whole nother one, so I'm just gonna go. I'm not wasting my time with these assholes. Like, these stupid ones that just want to play this fucking back and forth garbage. I'll just ignore them this time. I'm gonna need at least, like, one more run, I think. Dude, if I never, ever, ever have to fight goblins again on that freaking area... It will be too soon. And like, the sheer level of grind that everything takes for this playthrough is insane. Lucy, have your pick. Any you like. Uh, no, I'm too. good. Understood. Satan. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, I don't need to respond to that right now. This... I think will be the last time I'll have to go up there. Depending on how much they dick around and waste my XP buff, this should be the last time I have to go up there. I wish I could find more items that would fit Saitama better. I haven't found, like, any good yellow pants. I found some yellow pants, but they're terrible. They're the ones that are, like, laced up in the back, so they don't even look like pants. They look like terrible, terrible thigh highs. That and any pieces that I can find that have better defense and sort of fit the appearance. Because the fact that I'm making myself dress like him too is, uh... Hmm. I should also get rid of the headpiece, actually. 
which makes it even worse because it's even less defense then, but it just doesn't fit. <clears throat> the problem is any pieces that remotely actually look like him are like the worst defensive pieces in the game. I'm still wearing the fucking fisherman's top from the first town that you get by default just for playing the game. Hey, if you want me, chase me. And to get everyone's attention. Everyone pay attention to the idiot rolling around you. See how many of them will follow me out. Do about here. None of them? Really? Like, nobody cared? No one wants that attack. Come on, throw yourself. Bro, you're not even hitting me with those rocks. Nope. We're just gonna stand around and fucking blow horns again. Okay, I think that guy went off the ledge. No, he didn't. Still bullshit animations. Where the fucking shield is as far from his body as possible and it still tinks off of it when I attack him. So stupid. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, fine. You don't want to play over here? We'll play over there then. Fuck off. You and your shield. No one cares about your shield. Keep kicking you until it finally goes down. Even if you hit me, I don't care. You have nothing to stop me. Come on, let's play. Let's play close to the ledge. Why are you flailing at nothing 500 feet from me? Good timing, idiot. Bye-bye. Not the right attack. But if you want to back up and dodge me... No, you just want to walk right through me. Oh, we're stuck in this terrible terrible AI loop again where the enemies are just like aggressively avoiding the ledges which I don't even know how to explain because it doesn't always happen oh I'm done I'm done I'm not touching this anymore I'm done this is like the worst this is like the most effective way to grind up discipline without gaining too many levels it's also one of the most annoying and worthless ways to play the game so, don't do it on a normal playthrough of this game. You're going to hate yourself trying to grind up all the... I've actually ground up every single one of the classes to nine one time using that method, like, years ago. It was the most boring way to play the game imaginable. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Leg strength. What will it be today? And, uh, That's Sinew. Sinew is the only one I have left that I really want. Back to fighter. And I'll equip the bloody knuckle now. Have your pick. I'm not going to try and rush fighter. So... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. What will it be to I'll just pick? let Fighter Can level up like Come normally. But now that I have leg strength, that's a lot better. Should I try one of these? Mercedes to the Shadow Fort. I'm going there anyway. I don't need the Lustrous char Targe. Literally, the only thing I'd want to do with that is sell it. And I've got plenty. 
Don't need a sight earring either. I don't care about either of those. <clears throat> Vistad Hills. And let's move that port crystal. Pick this up. And let's keep going. Hold nothing back. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I'd rather not fight them at all. The f***ing rangers, man. <clears throat> I could try and fight, although I think these guys are actually stronger than the other ones, so they'd be even more of a pain in the ass. Plus, it took forever if I didn't use the uh, parry apps against the other ones. Fighting these goblins might be interesting, but there's also the big cyclops that's out in this area. I think... Garish? What is that? Oh my god, what is he doing out here now? Like, I can easily go multiple playthroughs with him barely ever showing up, but now the griffin aggressively wants to attack me everywhere I travel. Figures. Also, I can't roll, because I'm not a, uh... Daggerist vocation, as the game likes to call it, which is stupid. <laughs> Just, like, thief or rogue type vocation. Oh, man. How about about here? Although, there's a bunch of goblins in the building, so maybe not there. Wait, did I hear that? Daggerist? Yes. Yes, you did. The game on the freaking wikis and everything literally refers to it as Daggerist Vocations. Here. Religion based on angry beavers. This is where I like to put the port crystal when I only have a very limited quantity of them. If you look on the map, I can get to the the bandit camp. I can get to Witchwood pretty good from here. I can head down to Bloodwater Beach, which is sort of down in this area. I can head up to the uh, Shadow Fort, which is up here. Right, this is kind of a good central location in the south when you only have a couple of uh, port crystals. Once I have plenty of port crystals, I like to put them in very different locations. Rather than a central one, I put them in kind of all the locations the game tries to send you to. Right, so that in later playthroughs, I could basically just like pick up an escort quest, teleport once, and I'm there. Did anyone chase me? No, that would have been fun, but nope. So this over here is where the other end of the quarry comes out. Not right here. Oh, look, there's the dragon. That's the one I'm most likely going to try and fight later on. <laughs> hey, resident sleeper. Uh, yeah, that's the dragon I'll most likely try to actually fight later on to dragonforge my gear. But, you know, not now. Not for a long time, frankly. Oh, not here. Actually, it's further north from here. It's like over there where the ancient quarry comes out on this end. Cloud of quick time yet? What have you got? Any interesting items? A couple more potent green wareish never hurt. Mm. I should probably grab a couple more interventives. No one has light cures though. That's a little annoying. It's cool. This game is cool. This game is actually really cool. Oh, he has blast arrows today. That's impressive. He usually doesn't. Wake stone shards, none of the weapons are of any value to me. None of the headpieces will be either, honestly. How about this? Nope. 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 
No. Now, he really doesn't have anything of value, honestly, in any of these. Leather gloves aren't terrible, but these actually fit better. Unfortunately, the red leather gloves look nothing like what I need. These are the ones I found, lace leggings. They're like the only yellow bottoms I found, and they're terrible. They don't even look like close to right. Yeah, he's got nothing. Nothing that I want. Wait, I will take those though. Time yet? Come back whenever. So and then, do I have I anything to actually just send back? Oh, just name it, sir. Well, this isn't anything I'm gonna want. Literally, the only thing I want here is sinew, and that's not till. Stamina consumed when you lift objects or grapple hold opponents. I think that's specifically the fighter grapple. Well, uh, the only one I want is Sinew, which is like rank 5. Guess I'll hold on to eyedroppers, because stream looks like shit if I let enemies blind me. Just name it. Come Good again. enough. Alright. I guess I'm heading to the Shadow Fort. It may be a terrible move, because I have to fight ogres. No, not ogres. Cyclopses at the Shadow Fort, and that's not going to be easy. Plus, I'm not planning to use the Ballista either, because that's not your fists. So it's going to be even harder to fight them. Is a pretty cool game. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of stuff you can do in this game. In fact, I already have my next uh, challenge run of this game worked out, and it won't be nearly as much of a pain in the ass as this one is, because there's a lot more freedom in the next challenge run to just sort of play the game I want to. And walking bones arisen. Yep, my next challenge run of this game should have plenty of walking bones arisen in it too. Because unfortunately, one of the best ways to challenge yourself in this game is be like, this is a solo run on top of whatever else you're doing. Like, I'm doing unarmed only, but it's also a solo run. So I can't just lean on pawns, right? And uh, so that gets rid of walking bones on most challenge runs, honestly. <laughs> Literally just goblins everywhere. But the next one I'm going to do is going to be pawn focused. I almost want to use like multiple pawns so I can engage with the pawn system a lot. But that's not as challenging as if I did it like single pawn only. Like only my main pawn allowed. I don't know. I'm still working out whether I'm going to do it with all pawns or just the main pawn but I do know what I'm going to do for my next challenge run. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. But if I bring the guys in to fight, if I bring these guys in to fight as fast as I can, then they should take off some of the heat of, like, fighting the Cyclopses at least. <coughs> go come up from the bottom and beat up some goblins oh god that bloody knuckle feels so much better if only i could have that other ring that increases knockdown too that'd be great Bye, idiot. You know what? Maybe we'll just go past these guys and head up and get going on this run. I need to be up here. And I think it's the goblin on the other side that has the lever I need. 
But you can go. I may not use the ballista, but I don't need them shooting at me. I think it's one of these guys. Oh good, this guy doesn't have a ton of health. Like the other ones. But I'm still not knocking him back for some reason. Still just not willing to take any knockback. And every single fucking flail of his weapon just stuns the crap out of me. There we go. Uh, no, he doesn't have it. Okay. One of these damn goblins that has it. it must be this one. Shit, I'm standing right next to that guy. You know what? You guys want to come fight me? Come fight me over here. Yeah, fight me over here. Damn it. Oh, wow. He really didn't hit that? That's amazing how well they can avoid those freaking exploding barrels. Like, how? How's that angle always just right that they're not hitting it? You know what? Time to stop dicking around. Now let's fight, idiots. And of course he immediately does a stun lock attack. Like, I use parry apps, which have really shitty times, like, lengths of time that they stay active. And so he starts spamming the most aggressive stun-locking attacks he possibly can to waste my time. It's Iron Blade piece, so he's going to be the one that has it. Nope, that's an Iron Blade piece as well. Where the hell is it? Is it one of these guys over here now? Yeah, like, all they'll spam now that I'm using minimal length parry apps. All they'll do is the most aggressively stun-locky attacks they can. They're just wasting every bit of time possible. See? They just kept stun-lock, stun-lock, stun-lock over and over until the parry app ran out. <clears throat> Fucking insane, man. Like, goblins do not have this good of AI, so why does the game RNG hate me this much? No one ever programmed goblins to, like, read your parry app or how close you are to a ledge, so it's literally just, like, game RNG that's fucking me over constantly for some reason in this run. Like I said, having to purify 80 three times for an item most people can get in like 10 to 20 purifications was insane to me. I mean, I got fucking green wearish for days. You're just wasting time now. Okay, none of them dropped it. Wonderful. That's always fun. Oh, I remember where it is. Yeah, I screwed this up. The lever's in a specific spot. I forgot about that. It's up here. <clears throat> I kept swearing that one of the goblins you fight up top was the one who dropped the lever, but no, that's not right. Oh, god damn. Stealth ballistas. Worthless. It's down in here. Along with the port crystal. Thank God. I love how there's like three enemies gathered around in, my, in a circle and my character will like aim at none of them. <laughs> like, let's just whiff at the air. Literally anyone I could be punching. Nope. Look at all this air over here that's unpunched. 
Got to deal with that. I really don't want to waste more periaps on this. I've still got a boss to face here and multiple Cyclopses, and I don't know how much the people are going to help me. I'd rather take this guy down without using it, even though he's got me in a corner and is just stun-locking the fuck out of me. Yes, got him on the ground. But of course, he stands up instantly. <laughs> the sheer level of, like, even goblins are a threat to you that happens on this challenge is insane. It really does showcase just how terrible the unarmed system they put into this game was. Like, they shoved it in last second and they did nothing to make it of any value to anyone. They didn't design it in any interesting way. They didn't give you any interesting attacks. They didn't give you any interesting movement tech. It's literally just straight up one of the worst ways to fight through the game. Which does make it a very interesting challenge. Not the most fun challenge, but very interesting. <laughs> Let's force these idiots to fight for me. Splendid work, Arisen. Yep. Now, and now you're going to do all the work. For good. After me, man. <laughs> like, we have Cyclopses to fight. You're going to do a lot of work this playthrough. I'll help with some goblins and stuff, but that's about it. Mostly hobgoblins here anyway. I'll help with these guys. But you guys are going to be putting in a lot of effort today. I wonder if I just happen to, like, set this right about here. That'll lead to something fun later. That's not terrible damage, surprisingly enough. I mean, for fist fighting, that's not terrible damage. I might actually be able to knock him down now. Oh, yeah, but I can't fucking dodge because I'm not a daggerist. Uh, still not great at knocking them down. Ugh. <clears throat> Just me, or does this guy seem even more difficult to knock down than usual? And meanwhile, I'm stumbling all over everything. Fucking homing attack in midair. Never ceases to surprise me yet again when the goblins will fucking air control driving game change direction mid flight to hit you. Oh, they took him out. That's okay, I don't care. As long as anyone is still standing, I'm happy. I still hate that I can't fucking dodge. It's like the most annoying part of the red vocations is having no ability to dodge. Also, I can fall five more feet and tuck and roll. Like, yeah, a controlled fall. That's a super useful movement tech that no one ever fucking said that line. Totally better than being able to levitate, dodge roll, or double jump. Nice 
fucking air control homing, asshole. I mean, I got potent green wares for days, so... This isn't really a, too difficult for me, it's just annoying. I'm not aiding these idiots. <laughs> they're, they're not that useful to me. Like, I may want them to put in some work, but I'm sure as shit not wasting wake stones on them. Bye bye We mostly need to deal with goblins anyway. I don't remember if you have to take down the cyclopses or just kill goblins for a while. I don't recall if the, go if the cyclopses are a, are a necessity. Dude, I do more damage unarmed than these soldiers are doing with their swords and shields. I just noticed that. I'm doing more damage to these goblins by punching them than these soldiers do. Oh, well, they're doing decent. I and mean, it's taking them forever, but hey, at least they're doing damage to them. I think this wormwood sap is super worth it. I think it does do healing, but it's not like nearly enough to make it worth carrying as like a healing item. Plus two of these cyclopses at once is just going to be impossible for me. That's just straight up impossible for me to do, given the way they attack. There's no way I can fight two of them at the same time, especially with these fucking ballista still shooting at me. And just fucking phasing through enemy bodies to hit me. Gotta keep moving, or I get shot. There we go. That did it. <laughs> Whatever, took out a few goblins all at once. There, yes. I don't have to fight the Cyclops, it's very good. There's a chance to win a trophy worthy of your skill, sir. Yeah, yeah. Go. Don't Put care. Them to the blade. Right. This chieftain fight will be interesting. At least I have a bunch of uh, periops with me. I can take out these little guys for a little more XP. Just the periops should be enough for the chieftain. Just avoid the Cyclops. Finally, I can take down these damn Ballista. Let the Cyclops deal with some of these enemies for me. Because I'll still get XP from them, even if I'm not the one killing them. Yeah, yeah. Of course he did. Coming through. This is just chucking people off the cliffs and stuff, and that works for me. Bye bye. Ugh. Still having no dodge is the fucking worst. I hate playing as the fighter vocations because of the fact that they have no good movement tech limited number of normal skills like everything about the fighter vocation just feels like trash to me but they have the highest strength uh gains at least to 100 they have the highest strength gains just skip these idiots no 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 what is this again uh, blades, that's actually not terrible blades, but I don't need any blades, so. Wow, nice fucking knockdown, dude. Alright, 
and just jump around and do some damage to them as I go. So at least I stay moving. Which is, again, one of like the worst parts about unarmed fighting is you don't fucking move, ever. You just stand around and take every hit on the face. Okay, that should be good. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't bring any, uh, XP buff. Eh. Well, actually, no, I should have. I should have brought an XP buff, but I didn't. Also, there's no way I'm gonna actually take this guy out. Like, I'll- I can do the fight, but... The part where you chase him later, there's no way, but that's fine. You're not supposed to anyway. Seriously? Just fucking walk right through my- just poise through my stuff, okay. Fuck. His attacks are even more stunny and fucking knockback-y than anyone- any other goblins. He's not even a big goblin. There we go. That takes care of that. And I'm not even going to bother trying to chase him, because I'm not going to catch him. Like, you would to be able to kill this dude in, like, one shot, and even then it doesn't matter. He still gets away, and it still amounts to nothing. He never comes back. It's never a threat. Nothing ever comes of it. The beasts are fled and the whole retaken! Huzzah! Hmm. You know what? I could actually... I need to leave to do this. Train back to Maximilian and Grand Soren. Okay, no, that's fine. Mechanisms in the mine, don't care. I should be able to progress on to the Duke's Decree now. Which is progress. And I'm going to be skipping over a lot of quests. Like... I'm not bothering to do all the worm hunts or anything. This is literally, can you beat it with only unarmed attacks? Not, can you do 100%? Given how much of a pain in the ass. Actually, doing some of the other quests could be very useful. Just for leveling up and gaining more strength. Maybe I should do some of them. Shadow Fort covered. Should I go take that other Fort Crystal back? I could move it down to Bloodwater Beach, but that's mostly for escort quests. There's nothing too useful down there. I could just carry it with me, in all honesty. <coughs> just carrying this one around with me so I can place it in various locations and teleport around with it. Would be more useful, I think. Uh, Grand Soren. I mean, what do I have left? What did I not do? I didn't do Salvation, so that would be the Catacombs. That's not terrible. And I didn't do the, the Water God's Altar. Which, that's uh, a Cyclops. I believe, but there's also a bunch of Saurians, some undead. They wouldn't be fun fights, but the XP might be worth it. Eh. Hello, hello. Might be better just to progress forward in the story. <clears throat> Although I should probably wait till morning. Also, how are we doing on a fighter now? Did we get to five or only three? Only three. Nothing. Nothing. The joke is, I could actually take shield skills. There, in fact, there's a, there's a messed up thing you can do, which the bloody knuckles boost your damage. So the, the bloody knuckles are supposed to boost your unarmed damage, 
But the thing is, Bloody Knuckles boost all damage you do when you're, like, quote-unquote unarmed. So mostly, that just means no weapon in your main hand. But they did go far enough as to make it so it doesn't boost, like, bow damage in your offhand when you're using a bloody knuckle but one thing they didn't do and honestly people debate this on the wiki whether it's um intended or an accident that they didn't do this is they didn't program it so that the bloody knuckle will not boost your damage if you have a shield in your offhand so they did enough to make it so you can't just like unequip your daggers, put on two bloody knuckles and do massive quantities of of like bow damage, but they didn't do it for shields, right? So what you can actually end up doing is take the stacking augments that boost uh damage you do with shields and then equip two bloody knuckles and then any shield attacks you do will be doing like eight times normal damage at that point especially sheltered spike sheltered spike so there is super exploits you can use to do shit tons of damage uh with like shields equipped and still be like i'm fighting unarmed but it it's very much not in the spirit of this is a challenge run, so I'm not doing that. But there is totally a way to use, like, shield attack skills, which can do decent damage, and then fucking boost them by eight times in this game, and it's nuts. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to really make use of that because of the fact that I don't enjoy playing <laughs> as a fighter. So Take it's care, cute that I'd be able to do crap tons of damage, but getting two bloody knuckles and playing as a class I don't enjoy seems pointless to me. Let's get 30. Take all the and uh, pilgrim charm. Always carry a pilgrim charm. In fact, I might want to use the pilgrim charm right now because I think I'm going to redeem a number of quests right away. Yeah, what will it be today? And I do believe it doubles quest stuff. Oh god, I don't ever, like, think about that, really. I think it does double quest gains. So I think I'll put the Pilgrim Charm on right now. As soon as I turn this quest in, and then I can go hear the Duke's Decree, and, uh... And that will give me a big XP bo boost as well. <coughs> Am I going to do any of Eleanor's stuff? No, I don't think so. I don't really care about Eleanor. I don't really like Eleanor. At all. Ah, with the f you no, that looked like straight XP. That did not look like a, a, a times two. It will be it's probably just from yours. fighting. Here the Duke's Directive. We're skipping over the Water God's Altar and the Catacombs. This is I a don't high, care. His like I said, this I is beat the that, game. You are quite certain. Understood. Quite certain. Take this Worm Hunt license. I don't want it anymore. Also, there are a number of items in the game which will actually give you some discounts at certain shops. The problem is how limited they all are. Which makes the whole thing almost pointless. Like, the Worm Hunt license does give you a discount at certain shops, but I think it's like... The Blacksmith? Maybe? Down in the main town area? I think that might be the only shop. Maybe there's another shop or two it gives you a discount on. But, like, there's like two, three shops in the game it'll give you a discount on. And it's the same with pretty much every item that gives you a discount. It's almost, like, pointless. It's like one or two shops in one location at one point where you'd only buy things from maybe one time. <laughs> uh-huh. 
This game really does take like all of the super serious dark fantasy stuff and like shits all over it as satire pretty much. It's like, no, none of this is important. Yes, every person you meet is actually totally corrupt and out for their own gain and using you. Yes, it's all garbage. I fear your crown outshines my own. <laughs> Good God, the audio. I can barely hear anything. Like, can you guys hear anything? I'm pretty sure I have voices turned up as loud as they can possibly be and I can barely hear anything. Dragon's Dogma, where everyone is a bitch and nobility doesn't matter, pretty much. Yeah. It's like all of the elements in Dragon's Dogma that would be taken super serious. Yeah, it's... I don't know what's up with the audio in the game. It's all of... Like, I have voices turned up to 100%. Every time anyone talks, I can't hear shit. As I was say, every time... Everything that would normally be treated as a super serious element in any other story, like super dark, fantasy, gritty, whatever story, is treated like shit in Dragon's Dogma. Like... None of the characters are noble. They're all assholes. They're all using you. They're all garbage. The world is trash. The whole cycle is basically just repeating itself, so it's kind of worthless to try and resist it anyway. Everyone's lying to each other. <laughs> like, it's all bad. All the time. Uh, options. Audio. Could it be on fucking sound effects? There's no way they put the dialogue during cutscenes, like, on sound effects. It's definitely not on music. Although I could stand to turn that up a little. Guess we'll see. But yeah, every single time I go into, like, a cutscene, all the fucking voices go to, like, nothing. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't want to deal with Eleanor. I'm not bothering in the slightest. Fantasy existential horror with a dash of hopelessness. Pretty much. One thing I especially love about it is um, this element that gets played up where it's like the dragon has threatened these multiple kingdoms. I think there's like three or four or five kingdoms, right? That the dragon has threatened. So they've all created this mutual pact. Whenever the dragon threatens any one of the kingdoms in this pact, they will all send their soldiers out to help each other. And then as you play through the game, you discover that they're all fucking, the Duke, like, ignoring that pact. That, like, every single nation, when another nation gets attacked by the dragon, actually wants to see the nation basically brought to its knees so that they can maybe invade it later. And so they all send the most worthless things they can, right? Like... Her father sent her out with, a, with like, no soldiers. Almost no soldiers, right? Instead of sending any of his sons out or an army out, he sent his daughter, who wants to be a knight, out. Right? With, like, no soldiers to back her up. And then, um... The nation that... Oh, he's not down here anymore. Julian? Julius? Julian, I think, is his name or whatever. Uh, is he in here? No, I think he is in there sometimes, but he's not there right now, maybe. There's the Duke's chambers. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. Arisen, I, this is not the place. It is a conversation best had. Uh, meet me. Yeah, sure. I can do that one without, uh... I can do a number of these quests without, like, any fighting whatsoever, so... You are to see... I speak for his... Pray. Make your choice, sir. Hunting expedition trial. Um, his trial is actually pretty easy. I need to make sure he wins it because he's a useful merchant. But other than that, I can do pretty much anything. This is the Griffin hunt, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But at least I'll have that guy with Salamet's grimoire come to help me out. So that final fight won't be as bad. And I'll have enlistment corps people helping me out along the way. But that, uh, 
that one little request that Mercedes gives me where she's like, please protect my men. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. Congress parry out. Because I, I can't. Like, I can't possibly protect your men with how weak I am right now. They're all going to die, Mercedes. Sorry. Anyway, the nation that uh, Julian, Jul whatever his name is, Julian, Julius, whatever it is, comes from, literally only sent him as a spy to try and undermine this nation, right? Like, the sound is packed to protect one another from the dragon, and literally every time the dragon shows up, they all try and undermine each other to try and, like, destroy the nation it's attacking. There's the room you can't get into. Go later. Okay, there's nothing else here I really care about. I think you might be able to bypass some of these quests too. No, I don't think so. I think you have to do both the Griffin and the Trial. I think that is the case. I thought maybe you could get away with doing one of them, but I think I would normally just do the Trial and be done with it if that were the case. I think you have to do the griffin. Token forces sent to the slaughter while they sit at home rubbing their hands. Pretty much, yeah. You realize that every nation is like that, right? In the pact. And obviously the duke would be exactly like that too, right? He doesn't get a chance because it's his nation that's being attacked. But the duke would exactly be the same way if he had the opportunity. He is so selfish. So self-important so fucking conniving that like he would absolutely do that too probably consider the fact that if one country does fall then that dragon will come up later I don't know man given what the dragon is maybe not I think I can get the knights affidavit as well no I think I have to search for the knights Oh, wait, but does that help him or does that hurt him? I love how I'm manipulating the justice system right now. Like, trying to make a mockery of the justice system just to try and get this guy off. Which is annoying because he's kind of a shit dude, but he's also a useful merchant. He has, like, Conqueror Parry apps and Pilgrim Charms and stuff like that. Which, actually, come to think of it, that's pretty much what you find out about him if you do the entire quest line. You find out he's kind of a shit dude, but a very useful merchant. <laughs> <laughs> I should only need a couple of pieces. I think his daughter can give you an affidavit as well. It's just mud. You that best. If you see me, tis a gen. Now go. Okay. Uh, I think the thing. I believe in my father's face. Can I get I in you to? No, I guess I can't get one from her. There's something you can find in here, but I think it actually hurts him. Like I think it's evidence of uh, yeah, the gift ledger. I think actually hurts him rather than helps him. Petition calling for his acquittal, so Jeffrey's petition. Implied gifts were purchased to launder ill-gotten coin. Yeah, see? Discard. See, I'm basically just completely cheating the justice system right now. I have done on some playthroughs where I collect every single piece of evidence available. And I think he does end up getting acquitted if you present every single piece of evidence. Well met, sir. I think he gets acquitted, but the variable must be pretty close, like one digit one way or the other or something, right? If you present all the evidence. In the meantime, you can just, like, present only the stuff that helps him or only the stuff that hurts him, too. I think there's a couple more pieces I can gather that'll help. A single affidavit might actually be enough. Given how I think it starts, like, right in the middle, and depending on what evidence you gather, it changes. A single affidavit might actually be enough to save him, but I should probably try and get a couple more. Nothing. Oh yeah, there's the people that are going to try and kill Selene. 
His grace is keen to seek out the old crow. Uh, he even wants the gold idol. Do I have the gold idol? I forget if I even bothered to pick it up in this one. I don't think I did. Because there's nothing they could possibly give me that would be of any use to me. I don't think I did. Yeah. So those idol quests are basically worthless to me. Warrior's Departure, 100 Dragon Spit, I don't need. 100 Potent Green Warish to Bloodwater Beach. Mm. Hmm. It's a bit of a run. There's some enemies in the way. I could probably make that, though. But I could just buy 100 Green Warish, honestly. Bulgur's Lord Tome is not your fists. Man, shut up, dog. Stop barking. Uh, did the black cat have any? I don't think he did. Although, uh, I think Madeline should have set up her shop by now. Now that I'm in this part of the storyline, I think Madeline set up her shop. <clears throat> yeah, the black cat didn't have anything for Fornival's quest. Madeline. Yep, she has. She also Here? wants the gold the idol, but, oh, but I don't care. More Conqueror Periaps. Don't need acid. I don't need any weapons, but she has upgraded her weapons one more time. Don't need any of those. Anything new here that'll work. The Forest Tunic's green. Nope. Lust Vest. Eh. Better defenses, but it doesn't really work. How about here? Can I finally get some yellow leggings of some kind? Nope. Was it Baleful? No. That's the strength and uh, magic boosting ones. It's um barbed. Barbed nails are the ones I'm more interested in. And I actually do know a location where I could get some without having to fight anyone. I mean, granted, I have to run through a bunch of enemies, but I wouldn't have to fight anyone. I could get the barbed nails, but I don't I don't care enough, right? Having at least one ring of perseverance on still helps me kind of get these things ranked up. I guess I mm, I guess barbed nails could actually come in handy pretty soon. Cuz I mean, as soon as I as soon as I get fighter up to 5, I don't really need rings of perseverance. I'm going to spend so long as a warrior anyway, I'll rank it up easily. The last thing I'm really trying to, like, push vocation rank up for is Fighter 5, which I think is one spot away. Yeah, I need, like, one more level of Fighter. So the Ring of Perseverance will basically become pointless to me after that. <clears throat> Let me double check. To make sure this doesn't happen at 4. Pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, it's at 5, I get Sinew. Okay. I don't care about his quests. I don't care about theirs. Let's see if the Pawn Guild has some new kill quests for me. Because anytime I can get a couple of quests done just by, you know, random chance, all the better. Wasn't one of the uh, Badge of Vows one of the first ones, like right around here somewhere, I think? First couple badges of vows are actually not that difficult to get. I think you can usually get them like just in town or something and don't have to explore too much. Leather shoes. Nope. Oh, oh great. Yeah, just a invisible wall in the way. Game. Game. Come on. I know you can grab that fucking... Classes without double jump suck. Classes without double jump or at least levitation are fucking terrible. <clears throat> I thought it was around here somewhere, but I can't remember. 
And I really don't care that much about the badges of vows. I think it's like a hundred rift crystals and maybe a thousand XP for every one you get. But I can get a couple of little doses of XP right here. Maybe grab myself some discipline. It. I really don't think it'll be enough to bring fighter to five. These are very small doses of XP. And I just recently went up another location rank in fighter. But the sooner I can get it to 5, so I don't have to level as it anymore, the better. Because uh, it doesn't gain as much strength per level up as warrior. So the less time I spend in fighter, the better. Maybe I'll check the difference between warrior and assassin. I know assassin has the best strength gain after 100, and warrior has it before 100. From 10 to 100, warrior has the best. But if it's only a difference of, like, 1-1, one, one, you know what I mean? If it's only a difference of, like, 6 strength per level versus 5 strength per level or something like that, then... Okay, I don't want to talk to this family at all. Uh, I was wondering what they were doing, because I'm pretty sure I already finished their quest, and they're part of the Fornival's trial quest, because I worked with him to get them evicted. Every one of them is willing to give me something that's, like, condemning him. It's not useful to me. I did do this one, didn't I? Yes, I rezzed his son. Hmm... I could have swore you could pick up an item in the knight's house that helped. I wonder if I picked it up earlier and just dumped it in my storage. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Because I think you can pick it up early. Okay. Have your pick. Guess not. Uh, I go up to the Stone of the North, I think, and get someone to come down and attest to his greatness, blah, 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 whatever there. Hmm. I'm trying to do this in the easiest way possible. Because I don't want to waste a lot of time on Fornival's trial. So it's not like I'm going to go do every positive thing I can for it. I could swear the knight was could give you an affidavit for him. I have to search the house. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was actually something that, like, condemned him if you search the knight's house. <clears throat> yeah, nothing. Okay. Eh. I'm gonna give them this one affidavit. And, uh, mostly just leave it at that, unless I can think of something else. I think it starts somewhere in the middle. I don't remember the exact value that Fornival's, like, guilt starts at. So a single affidavit might be enough. To just be like, here's a plus one. Now let's leave everything else abandoned. You are to see ice prey. Make your choice. I would the Calling for his acquittal. There we go. You've brought his time. One piece of evidence. If I can remember any of the others, I'll go like get them. Any of the other easy ones. There are a few you can just like pick up and bring back, but I don't remember where they all are. <clears throat> anyway. Let's go do uh, part one of the griffin right now because that's easy to get done. Actually, I could do both parts of the griffin and I could pick up the barbed nails on the way because I need to go that direction anyway to get there. Plus, that would get me another port crystal. I mean, it's going to be a pain in the ass dealing with the griffin fight, but eh. Duke I burn himself, blah blah blah. No one cares. Leaving. <clears throat> Better? 
Thank oh, God is this the reason. thieves? I, I was, have you seen, I beg you. Yeah, this is the assassins. I don't think I'm going to end up making any progress on that quest. Uh, you have to you have to run around the area around Grand Soren at night in order to make progress on that quest, and I don't think I'm gonna bother. We'll circle if you still... Join the campaign. Like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do. Once you become really strong Focus. in a normal playthrough, especially on like now. a new game plus, you can like take out this Griffin so fast that you don't even have to go up to the north and chase it to the blue moon tower he's just like off the griffin like instantly in a couple of attacks right here when he attacks you but here with my bare hands i don't know if i'm even going to damage him clear your mind of all but the fight <laughs> goblins can we fight the goblins too Nice, we can. Yeah, having a ring that will aid in knockdown would actually be somewhat useful till I get the second bloody knuckle. It will give me a better chance of knocking my enemies down and stunning them with my attacks and stuff. I almost never bother to use the barbed nails. I use them for one specific thing when I'm speed leveling, which is to aid in using less blast arrows to knock death down. That's about it. Right, because if you have two barbed nails on, you can knock death down with fewer blast arrow shots. Which can really help in that last section of My speed case. leveling. <laughs> Case. Hopefully I'll be able to get that last rank of fighter here during the first part of this quest. So I can just switch off. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why is he even saying that line? About the sky offers a considerable advantage. I thought the lead up to this quest was that they didn't know what they were hunting exactly. Or no, actually they might. This might specifically be because the griffin's been attacking caravans and stuff. I forgot that. Now we go grab a goblin. Grab some bait. There you go. Yeah, this is not going to be a good fight. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. It comes. Like, I don't think I'm even going to attack him. He comes, even the dragons. <laughs> Then he bid them come, and they came, even the dragons. Yep. <clears throat> like, just getting close to him is a nightmare. There, I damaged him. <laughs> there, I damaged him. And <laughs> look at all that damage I did to him with my big attack. Look at him fucking flailing at the walls and shit. It's so dumb. They're just swinging at air whenever he's away. Now, everyone on the beast. Die, beast. Punch his tail. Punch his tail. Like this is not doing very good damage. If I got up to like his head or whatever, maybe it would, but I don't care enough. This is mostly just the starter fight to get him to fly away. I don't think you have to do a certain amount of damage. <clears throat> I think you just have to do like X amount of time. I 
I really do think it's just a time fight. Like, I think he's leaving now. No, is he Keep coming back? On the beast. Oh my god, is he seriously... Also, why does he keep charging me? Like, why does he keep charging at me? There's no way I'm doing more damage to him than these guys that are shooting at him. So I don't know why he keeps charging towards me like I'm the big threat. <laughs> yeah, I'm really gonna have to rely on Stefan during the big fight at the end. So I'm just not gonna be able to, like, get him. So tired of that launch attack of his. <laughs> well, something just died. <laughs> we got some XP there. Hey, circling around. Maybe this is you have to do a certain amount of damage at bare minimum. Because usually he'd have flown away by now. But I can't fight him. <laughs> like, everything he does to swoop in on us knocks me the fuck back and stuns me for like a minute and a half. So any attempt to try and like get in attacks on him would be worthless. <clears throat> like the only time I'm able to even stand up during this fight is when he's in the air. Shit. No, 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 not close to the. No. Too close. <laughs> Too fucking close to the ledge. Come on, stop circling around and just fly away already. Fuck off, that hit me. Fuck off, that hit me. Let's just fucking stun lock into beak again and again. Fucking beak stun locks. And look at him fucking spinning. This is one part of Dragon's Dogma that just always pisses me off. Look at him just fucking spinning in place with no animation of his muscles moving or his legs turning or like anything. Just spinning on a fucking dime. Like the fucking top. Like, all the enemies do that in this game, and it's just annoying. It's like literally no animation of turning whatsoever or anything. No, just spin in place. <clears throat> oh, yeah, desperately has to get over here and attack the Arisen as much as he can for the, you know, five points of damage I've done to him. Gotta make me pay for the two punches I did to his tail. <laughs> God forbid he attack an archer. Keep your eyes on the beast. Nope, 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 nope. Not happening. And look at him spinning on a dime up there too as he tries to shock the fuck Open out of me. Is he gone? Nope. Still here. Yeah, apparently there's a damage minimum to this. I did not know that. I never realized there was actually a damage minimum to this. I mean, I can't do anything about that. <clears throat> Keep your eyes on the beast! Fuck off with your stupid beak. I refuse. Bastard! Been around 180 degrees. Okay, he's distracted. I can at least get some damage in on him on this one. When he's busy doing a thunder attack, I can at least get some damage in on him. It's not much, but. Maybe it's enough to push him. 
Like, this is never normally a problem. You just shoot him a couple of times, do minimal damage to him, and then he flies away. Plus, these Conqueror Periaps are so fucking wasteful right now. Because he'll spend the entire time they're active just in the sky, where I literally can't do anything to him. Bastard. Is he leaving? Leave? Yep, he's leaving, thank god. Okay, that takes care of part one. Damn bird. Flee to its roost the moment its fortunes turn. <laughs> the moment its fortunes escape. turn? Yeah, Cannot right, sure. To the blue moon tower. <laughs> um I would rather try and push Fighter to 5 so I can grab Thinu before going to Blue Moon and getting, like, a big chunk of XP. Let's just try fighting some more little enemies. That was pretty good damage. Oh, was it because he was unaware of me? I think you do do extra damage if you whack an enemy from behind while they're not aware you're fighting. Like, not ready for the fight. If only there were a better way to track, like, discipline gain. Oh, fuck that angle. That was a fucking lie. Caught me with the fucking wind of it. I'm like a foot away. <coughs> All right, let's just keep fighting. There are, are these Saurians back here. And not the best fight. Without well, Conquer Perry, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a bitch. I'll try like two of them instead of four. And I can get more Conqueror Parry up. It's not like it's the end of the world, but wasting them on tiny fucking worthless enemies that in any other playthrough I could kill in like a second is just annoying to me. All Saurians. I'm not really interested in picking this fight, honestly. This is going to be a pain. I'm going to blow through more parry apps and stuff. I'm not interested. I'd rather just fight a bunch of goblins till I can get this last rank. And there are plenty of goblins around here for me to fight. Maybe some undead too, because it's almost nighttime. <clears throat> some of the basic undead might be fine to fight. some of these attacks that hit me. Better to fight small goblins. I'm tired of these big ones. They just become a pain in my ass. Really, they just spend the entire time fucking juggling me and tossing me and stunning me and shit. And it's just annoying. Less of these idiots. More of these idiots. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. Just gonna keep ignoring you guys. Oh, nice. Good to know that the hobgoblin could shove me out of the way. Of the normal goblin.
Why can't they deal damage to, like, <laughs> oxen? That's a little weird. There's no, like, cross damage going on between these two enemies. Oh good, yeah, missed completely. What are you fucking aiming at, dude? Jesus, even the rocks that these ones throw are able to knock me down. See, that should do damage. The fact that I'm stuck dealing with the fucking ox while a bunch of goblins are jumping me from behind. Stop aiming at the wind, aim at the fucking enemy. ignore these ones and go off to fight more easy enemies. More little enemies. Less actual threats. Oh, look! The assassins! I'm dead, probably. Let us see if you can stand no, actually, they don't do a ton of damage, and they don't take a ton of damage, either. Thank you for kicking me out of that. I mean, I can just, like, spam green warish through this, so fuck off. Nice that every attack is stun locking me though. That's nice. I go for the mage and they hit me from behind and everything they do stun locks the crap out of me. Good to know. Always good to know. Like they're not doing a lot of damage, but they sure are just keeping me in place so they can just mash into me with every attack they've got. I'm wasting all my green wares just because they won't stop spam attacking me. Bye bye. One down. Fuck off. <laughs> Start kicking them in the face. There we go. Much better. Okay, so I made a little progress on that quest. I still don't think I'm going to finish it, but who knows? If I keep running around out here, maybe I will. I think these might be stout undead. Uh, well, they're certainly not easy ones. You, on the other hand, are a little easier. The villager ones are a lot easier. There we go. Yeah, these guys are not as easy. Yeah, they're just gonna grab my legs and stuff. Okay, most of these are still cleared of most enemies, because those undead are new. Hi. Oh, no, undead. Uh, that's a villager one. There's also a bunch of the big ones that like to explode. But I don't have any fire, so they shouldn't be exploding, but they're still a pain in the ass. Oh great, they can spew poison everywhere. I've never even noticed that, because I normally just blow these guys up and be done with them. There we go. Five.
<sighs> I'm gonna actually double check really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up. I wanna double check what the stat growth is. Stat growth. Nope, not that one. Not that one. I guess this one. Um, stat growth. Level 10, attack 5. 4, 2. Wait. Wait a second. That's gotta be wrong. Everyone knows you're supposed to be warrior than assassin, so there's no way assassin is that high that soon. Base vocations. Eh, fighter is four per level, so that's not a big problem. Warrior is five per level. Assassin is six per level. Why? I thought for sure you were supposed to level as warrior pretty much all the way to a hundred. Huh. Maybe I got that wrong. Maybe it was another reason why they did that. Okay. Then I can go assassin right now. And never have to touch any other class in the entire game. Which is good because there's an augment for assassin that I want. And I was worried I may not get that if I had to wait till a hundred to go assassin for the stat growth. Right? If I go assassin right now, then I can get the augment I want. Um. Oh, but I'm not going to get the strength augment that way. That's unfortunate. Because warrior also has a greatly augment strength. Sinew. Aggression? Nah. Sinew? Get rid of Bastion. I could get rid of arm strength for most of the time, and I can get rid of Bastion. I'd sort of save myself some spots like that. What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. It would be nice if I could do some warrior to get the strength augment, but for now, I'll at least go assassin so I can so I can get myself up to autonomy. I'll worry about a warrior strength augment later, maybe. And I can take the bloody knuckle and not even really worry about the ring of perseverance, I don't think. I'll go ahead and equip one until I get the barb nail. Your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like? What will it be? Understand. Daytime. Oh, and I can roll. Oh, thank God. Thank God it turned out that Assassin has better growth than Warrior even at lower levels. I didn't think that was the case, but I'm glad it is because I can roll and I can double jump now. Ugh, that would have been terrible having to play Warrior for 100 levels. Well, not 100. Or 73, 74 levels. <clears throat> 74. Now, should I just... Well, first I need more green larish because I used up so much of that. What's the new one? Oh, light cures. Yes, please. I don't care about isometricine, really. She has blast arrows now. Yeah. That's not bad for a normal playthrough, but for this one, doesn't matter. 
I can get rid of the eyedroppers now. Because I have the uh, light cure. Which takes care of that. Toss all that stuff. But the Arisen's only peace be death. I could toss that. And those. There we go. Take all the time you like. Now should I go for Blue Moon Tower? I mean, it'll get me another port crystal. I'll have Stefan helping me with Salamence Grimoire, so I should be able to take care of the Griffin fight. Away. Like, I may be pretty much worthless in the Griffin fight, but there should be enough support there that I can get through it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. North Face Forest is where I want to go, I believe. Yep. North Face Forest. <coughs> I will leave this one here at the uh, Dragon Forge place. I can move pretty quick. Also, has this respawned yet? There's um a scar. An arisen scar in this thing somewhere. Shit, where is it? Here? No. Fuck it. Don't care anymore. <laughs> like. Doesn't matter. Let's just go. Wait. Nope. I need to be down here. Get him. Or don't get him. That's an option. Not happening. I already hear bow strings going. It's fucking terrible to try and fight bandits with bows. Strider or Ranger, those guys like to fucking one shot you. It's messed up. Yeah, so I'm not doing that. Just get some stamina back and go. Up there's the Duke's Domain. Should I put a port crystal up there? No, I'm not even going to go there in this playthrough. I shouldn't waste a port crystal. Like, I'm not even doing Eleanor's quests in this playthrough. Why waste a port crystal on it? <clears throat> this is a challenge run, which means as soon as I'm done with the game, I'm basically going to delete this character the next time I do a challenge run. So I shouldn't be trying to, like, set up stuff I would normally set up for, like, new game plus runs and all that. This is what I hate, is that these birds, these stupid harpies, don't actually suffer from the blowback of the wind at all, so they're basically just keeping up with you the whole time. You're trying to outrun them, and you're getting slowed down. What was... Oh, yeah, that. Not a big deal. This is... These, uh, these, uh, magic archers are also a pain in the ass because they do a ton of damage to you but rangers especially these aren't basic bandits either these are more advanced bandits and um they do a lot of damage also we're on an ad break so you know what i think i will take a little break as well while the ads are running i'm gonna go ahead and take a break <laughs> so uh hop up Move around, stretch your legs, grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever you guys need to do, go to the bathroom. I will be back in a few minutes, and I will see you guys then. All right? What the fuck is this one, please? Thank you. And Avatar out. See you guys in a bit. Wait, one more part to this. There you go. <laughs> You got the bee's knees! Oh, uh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Everything's wrong with uh, me. That is a long conversation. <laughs> and this is how we adventure through this area.
there. <laughs> oh god, here it is. <laughs> hmm, calculating, calculating, calculating. Idiocy achieved. <laughs> I have a macro ethereal manipulation to specifically buy. Yeah, don't trust me. All right, all right, water and water and water, fire, water and water and water. Thank you, Bryce. If you know, you know. I don't know. Please tell me later. Um, apparently there's a lot of respects being paid. Ah. Press F. Hey, respect. Uh huh. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna drop that like right there. Yeah, streamers, make sure you hydrate. <laughs> well, only the streamers. Okay. There we go. Rescue of Shane I macro made. Have a hydrate button. <laughs> <laughs> Press one. Shane. Yeah. Yeah, I named they it the Rescue of Shane. Rescue Shane. <laughs> we start crying. <laughs> No, don't perceive me or I'm streaming. <laughs> this is the dude. This is the dude with the the uwu weapon. This is the guy with the uwu weapon that I was talking about. Well, it's the perfect weapon for the. <laughs> it's the for it's the it's it's the yeah it's the ultimate legend. Let's go, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> Just in case he has any interest in seeing all of our streams. Oh. Look, guys, all your fan fictions have come to life. I'm writing Xenos. You struggle in vain. <laughs> you will not silence our song of oblivion. Oh, I immediately regret that line. Where have you been? When you did not return, we visited the northern gates and found the area astir with night activity. You left the hamlet to aid wounded scouts. You could have been killed. Or eaten. Or killed, then eaten. Or eaten, then killed. I can't. Okay. Good to Guys, know. Guys, I learned Phlegma too. So now you can Phlegma two balls? Stop. Uh, <laughs> that's a hard to get away. <laughs> And this is how we adventure through this area. <laughs> there. Oh! Look, guys, all your fan fictions have come to life. I'm writing Xenos. You struggle in vain. <laughs> you will not silence our song of oblivion. Oh, I immediately regret that line. Yeah, they're not that much better. Honestly, the ones in the Crystarium look about the same. Twice as many polygons, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. Now they're using two polygons, not one. Uh. <laughs> Stack out. Arashi! Arashi, yeah, you brought the flare at us. You had the flare. I could have sworn I had the stack, but that's. The, uh, I if the stack of the tank. If the stack shows stuff it first, it's gonna, it's going to be the. the uh, flare. So you gotta <laughs> yeah, that. Okay, that's where I fucked up last time, too, then. Got it. Yep. But Faye was on the right side, so we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Frog. <laughs> Frog. Frog. <laughs> so we wind up missed many modeled upon no one in particular. No, really. <laughs> modeled upon no one in particular. Yep, no one in particular. Honor a certain individual with a mammoth likeness, but knowing that it would go against his wishes to do so, the artisans of the crystalline mean came up with a perfect solution. Make a mammoth likeness anyway, but give it a vague name. That makes everything all right, right? <laughs> By any other name, I would still be a rose, Master Rose. <laughs> oh my god. Call it Wind Up Mistel. It's just Graha. It's just, just make it Graha. Who cares? 
I'm so used to just always getting Crystal Tower because I was leveling everything up from 50, but now that it's all 60, I should be able to get the uh, Sky Pirate stuff, which I have, actually, once or twice. So at least now I know it's, I don't, I don't know for certain it's always going to be Crystal Tower. If it's Crystal Tower, I will die. You were saying, JJ. At this way to grab the gold one and then I can circle back around for the others. Oops. Completely missed the jump button. I suppose you have a point. It wouldn't be very inspector like to blow innocence. All right, I am back. I do love how the BRB thing is like, check out my recent clips. And then I see clips come up of my friggin' GIF tuber dude that I haven't used in like over a year. I think it's like, uh, it's not a recent thing. I should probably double check that and see what the time frame I have it set to find clips from is. Okay, let's get back in. And with luck, we should be able to... Nope, not an assassin mask. It'll be over here. If it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be over here. Oop. I believe it's the big one. <coughs> Red leather armor. Barb nails, there they are. Red leather armor won't work. I need yellow on the chest. I could grab a seeker token. Why not? Now, let's switch over to the barb nails instead of the ring of perseverance. That'll give me a little knockdown. Uh, like, yeah, knockdown to my attacks. This is going to suck. <laughs> Actually, no, I slid down pretty well there. Okay. That gives me a little bit of actual, like, poise break in my attacks. Of course, against these guys, it's pretty much worthless. Because, like I said, these are not tier 1 bandits. These are, like, tier 2 or 3 bandits, right? They're stronger, they have more poise, they do more damage than normal bandits. <clears throat> Should I try and fight the golem? Nope. Nope. Not gonna stay here. I, I would have been interested in maybe trying to fight the golem, but no. If these bitches are just gonna start singing at me right away, then I'm leaving. Because part of, like, the cosplay is that I do not have sleep, uh, high sleep resistance. Because none of my, what, none of my gear has sleep resistance really built into it. Some of it does. I have, like, three or four percent. I usually run around with like 80 to 90% sleep resistance just so I can not have to deal with those fucking harpies. <clears throat> You're fucking kidding me. I don't care. Because I'm not going to use a Blue Moon Tower. I'm not going to use a big heal like an Interventive for fucking poison. I'll just heal through it with Green Marsh. Get what I can usually find up here. There's some desiccated herbs that'll help with the poison. And port crystal. I'll pick up the other one at the top of the tower. This way I don't have to come back out to lay it out in front of the tower. I'm not gonna bother running around trying to like farm items. What are you doing? Fight! We, we followed it here, but still, the beast too is what please. It's he that this town. Uh, see that this town marks his grave. Oh, 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 fuck, come on. Ugh, 
Nope. Not interested anymore. <laughs> like, when it was down here, where I could kind of get an attack on it, maybe, but as soon as it starts flying away again, it's like, eh, forget that. Not interested. Let's just run it. Oh, that was a light cure, I think. That could have been useful. No, you don't. <clears throat> We'll at least take out the friggin' skeleton mage. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and use this desiccated herb up. Nope. That's the shortcut path back there. Here comes the griffin. Oh, it'll be interesting trying to break through the barrier. Help me! <clears throat> yeah, sure, I'll use the wake stone on him. It'll be interesting trying to break this. Before he attacks us and kills us all. This <laughs> is taking forever. Can you even do this unarmed? Oh, apparently you can. <laughs> so there's that. Don't stop. We're exposed here. Keep moving. Is that a no, that's not my date. I don't remember what blade leaf is used for. <clears throat> Let's go, boys. Carries him away. There is actually something you can get if you manage We're to save as arm. many of them as you can save. Uh, oh yeah, he puts him up there. Huh. Like, I can't damage him. There's no reason for me to even get there because I can't do anything to him. <laughs> what am I missing here? Was I supposed to progress this one again? This there it is. is. Make haste. I had to wait for the bird to break it. Oh, light cure. That would be nice, but I can't stop. We've made it through. Come, we'll slay it from the rooftop. Huzzah. I'll take this hospital. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, poison cure. Good. So that does work like Mithridate then. Nice to know. Another interventive, always nice. Is he seriously, like, lodged in the wall? <laughs> he clipped into the wall. Hmm. This is a, this is a good sign of the future, I guess. <laughs> like, game's working perfectly. <clears throat> Alright, let's just head up <laughs> and deal with this fight already. Should I check these? I don't remember where they are. Not down here, apparently. 
Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have a double jump now. Not there. Not there. Some of these have uh, <clears throat> treasure chests. Ugh, I'm not gonna be able to actually kill those birds, but that's one of my quests is seabirds. There it is. Griffin strategy. Worthless. That's purely for uh, pawns. <clears throat> Completely worthless in this playthrough. Okay. That should be everything. Let's go then. Let me grab this stuff right away. Hey, Stefan! Hey, Larissa. My thanks again for your aid in time past. This is why you should I definitely always give him Salamence Grimoire. Like, if you use Salamence Grimoire, you get the fire wall this attack, like, one time, and then Salamence Grimoire gets used up. But if you give it to him, he comes and helps you in the Griffin fight. Griffin armor, don't care. He's busy fighting them, so I'm good over here to just loot like crazy. Oh, wow, he is damaging the griffin like... <laughs> He's doing incredible in the griffin fight. Good for him. He's become a much bit more capable warrior than the Arisen. <laughs> good job, Stefan. Why aren't you the Arisen? Why don't they just make him the Arisen? He picked up a Grimoire that is a single-use property and then turned it into an amazing tool to turn himself into a sorcerer. Are they all dead now? Oh no, they're actually still alive. That's surprising. <coughs> Doing amazingly well against him. Just considering he's like a villager, too. Like, he doesn't even have training and he still has surviving attacks from the griffin, too. better damage if I can get on his head and just punch the crap out of him. Yeah, you keep burning him, I'll keep punching him. He's doing very well in this fight, honestly. I think Stefan here is like probably the only reason this fight's doable. down again <laughs> where am I Why isn't he attacking the griffin? Come on, man, get back in this fight. Oh, God. I should probably go ahead and use my pilgrim charm now. <clears throat> I'm just 
just get the griffin to like charge at me through the fires. Tama has leveled up. Lots of level ups. Good. Like I said, every point of strength helps. Oof, lots of uh, gold. Oh, yeah, 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 because I had the Pilgrim Charm on. I forgot about that. That's one of the downsides of um, <clears throat> keeping the XP, like, Pilgrim Charm things. Things, not specifically things with wheel, which is double XP, but with prosperity, which is more gold. Well. There's actually Golden negatives to, like, Griffin. keeping them on all the time, because it'll it convert a bunch of what would normally be death. enemy drops into just pouches Correct. of gold. Let us return to the capital and give word. Where? Right. Did I see <clears> the yes! To the aid of <laughs> yes, you most death. certainly did! <laughs> you absolutely <laughs> did this time around, Stefan. I was tracing the steps of the sorcerer Salomat. They led me here. Upon my arrival, I see you, locked in combat with a griffin. I knew it for a golden opportunity, and I dare say I stole the show. You most no certainly did. Thanks, sir. No need at all. I did like a couple hundred damage to that griffin. You did three health bars. <laughs> like you absolutely stole the show. Good on you. And that should be everything. I should just have to go back to town now, right? Return to Grand Soren, right? Castle Gardens at night. I don't even remember what that one is. I guess I'll check down this side at least. There's something or other down here, I believe. Chest. Harpy Cloak. Nope. Glasses. Okay. <laughs> and this one, this is where all the chests I was looking for were. Red leather armor? Nope. I think there's some more chests around here. Maybe not. Are they up this side? I thought there was one more chest. Is that it? No, I already opened that one. <clears throat> Alright, that's enough. Come out the back end here. And break open this one for the shortcut. Just in case I decide to do that other quest later on. And now back to Grand Soren. I have another... Pork crystal. Where do I want it to go, though? Where else do they send me that's very important? Nowhere, really. We're kind of on the fast track of the story at this point, I believe. <clears throat> I do need to head down towards where the Water God's altar is one time, I believe before it makes me turn around and come back and fight oh god the cockatrice that is gonna be a, such a pain in the ass fight oh yeah hey now, if you, Do you have anything a, new anything new that i care about gloves are fine though although 
I already have the wizarding ones on. I mean, white's not yellow, but it's probably closer than stuff I've gotten so far. <clears throat> oh well. Nothing really. Wait, I should double check enhance though. No, I'm not helping you with that. One Grimmar Preface. Glacial, Forgotten Arcanum. Link Scroll is actually very easy. I should do that. Hemp. Silk. Queen Clogs and Hemp are super simple. I should really do that. The master works will come again. I may be able to just buy them. Oh, Reynard's not here. Did I let him die this Boss, time? Take all the time you like. Take all the time. Guess I don't have a lot of that stuff. Need more conquer parity apps. Seeker token can go in the bin. Take all the can go in the bin, but I'm not gonna sell them. Actually, I could sell the ring of perseverance at this point, but I hear we'll see. Seeker token, ring of perseverance. Be today? Withdraw. Twenty is enough for now. Another pilgrim charm. What will it be today? Good. Have you come again soon? <laughs> I should rest. I should just keep sleeping to deal with this Fornival one. <clears throat> I think there's another one I could get pretty easily for Fornival, but I can't for the life of me remember what it is. If he gets thrown in this lammer, he gets thrown in this lammer. So be it. Have your pick. What will it I may screw up something in this run, but I should be able to make do. <clears throat> Even without him. Let's see. I sent in one positive thing for him. Let's see if that was enough. Order. I will have order. <clears throat> this <sighs> inquest has its conclusion. And? Honorable Frescobaldi, in the name of his grace, Duke Edmund Dragonsbane, the court hereby proclaims its verdict. Guilty. Okay, so one Whereas isn't enough. you have deceived your fellow man to sate your avarice. Yeah, yeah. He's sentenced. Fornival is in prison. I don't really care. Um, there's some things that would make it a little more difficult to get. Can't just buy pilgrim charms from him. Eh. There are other places where I can get a uh, wheel. And... What else was I getting from him? Can't for the life of me think what it was. What ends up happening to Simone anyway if he's thrown in prison? I forget. Oh well. <clears throat> okay, so a single piece is not enough to to uh get him for like proclaimed not guilty. Good to know for the future. That should be both the quests. Welcome back, sir. Blessed is well you. The Griffin is dead. And now? Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of yeah, yeah, yeah. more tasks that require your attention. Recover Pray. stolen item. Your choice, sir. It, it was a possession of the Dukes. Oh, the Worm King the Ring. Yeah. Some bandits. And well I need to go back out to Blue Moon Tower. That's not too bad. 
Many within the castle. I have more tasks. Oh, I canceled the quest because I didn't Ready. do it in time. Your choice, I don't even know what that quest was. I'll check. Assisting task, Mercedes is, is, is uh, somewhat Can interesting. If you're a mystic knight, you should absolutely interfere in the fight. Uh, for mine, I don't really need to. But we'll see. The conspirators. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the one that Fettel wanted me to meet him in the middle of the night. I don't give a crap about that one. That's pointless. I'm going to fail Witch Hunt as well, because I don't care. Unseen enemies don't matter. Worm King's Ring and Pride Before a Fall are both pretty simple. Let me go talk to Mercedes to set this out. Get it going. Where is she? I'm wandering around here somewhere. Or not. Alright. Because I know Worm King's Ring. I just have to go down to the ancient quarry again. <clears throat> oh yeah, she's out here getting ready to go. Hey, look, there's more enlistment corps guys that are alive after I got all I'll of them killed. I'm sure you have my thank. This man, there is someone must. I would, I will not. Okay, Wind Bluff Tower, that's the Stone of the North. First, I need to go to the Ancient Quarry to uh, start Worm King's Ring. Then I need to go to uh, Blue Moon Tower. I should probably do Stone of the North first. Because I can run up to there pretty easily from the quarry. Aloop. Aloop. trying to think of when would be a good time to try and go farm a dragon to dragon forge my gear and get that second bloody knuckle but like oh son of a oh great this is uh being a pain in my ass again if i click in there then i do that okay that should do it <clears throat> like as early as possible would be useful because look at my damage now and if i get another bloody knuckle i'm going to double the damage i'm doing now oh look the griffin decided to attack me again <clears throat> this thing just does not want to leave me alone i'm gonna stop farming like little enemies like this i'm at a point now where like i will get assassin up to nine eventually it's just gonna happen so i should just be pushing big xp uh pots as fast as i can <laughs> Piss off, Griffin. Literally no one wants anything to do with you. <clears throat> Is it here? Where am I? Nope, I went too far north. Hey, you wanna fight? You wanna fight a Griffin for me? Boom. <laughs> just lead it around to like random pawns out in the wilderness not bad care about these spiders Let's see if this has spawned anything new or interesting nope mage periaps worthless nice aim idiot <laughs> he can't homing attack me quite so well if i roll straight under him so there is that
Oh, Wormwood Sap. That was a uh, that was a rank two for one of the items I had. It's not as useful to me, but any rank up would help. Should be able to get in here. I might actually be able to take down the ogres, but eh, better to go for big XP pots, like big boosts in experience as much as I can. So I could have asked all around town and been like, where's the Worms King's ring? Who stole it? Where's he gone? Blah, blah, blah. But I already knew this location was here, so I just walked right out. Does the work of all mankind savior truly afford the time to go hunting petty thieves? I mean, yeah, sure. Sure, whatever. Bye-bye. That was pretty good. The cat has claws. And more rig than the fools in the That's pretty good damage. Outlawed. But alas, I've not the time the game, sir. Farewell. Bye-bye. Luckily I can just teleport straight out to Blue Moon Towers. So like it's like you'd have to chase this guy halfway across the countryside. It's fuck that. Just fairy stone out to Blue Moon Tower and be done with it. But uh, my damage seems pretty okay. Let's see how it is against the actual cave bandits. And then I'll decide if I want to try for the ogres today. That one! Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. I just went straight in and let him go ahead and... uh blind me because it's better to just take him out that fucking spin around 180 degrees mid swing is amazing yeah I mean I can do some real damage to them now granted it was augmented with conquer parry apps before but I can do some damage to them it's still a terrible knockdown for them, though. Yeah, I still have a terrible knockdown, even with the barb nail. This mage has got to go. He'll have low health anyway, so that's good. But he needs to go now. Anyone who's going to heal or anything like that needs to go. Plus that other mage who's got the attack spells needs to go too. This fucking human's just running around in circles super fast is annoying though. That's what's getting me is I can't connect. I can't connect my attacks with them, which is the real problem. Oh, come on. Wasting my time with a fucking wrong... Hotkey, seriously? Oh, fuck that. These fucking assholes just circling around me and just spamming knockdowns as hard as they can while they're over there healing each other. Plus, their heal is going off, like, instantly. Every time you heal as a mage, you have to set an AoE that someone stands in and heals a little bit. But their heals are going... Look at that fucking speed of that heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. And this, this is the exact reason why I don't use magic to heal. Like, magic sucks for healing. Fucking slow and pointless. I should just spam like this to heal. <clears throat> I 
Fucking stun, 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 knock back, knock down, stun. The level to which every fucking attack, every attack from every enemy is just fucking stun locked into oblivion. And then they just spin on a dime. I roll out from under them, and by the time I'm done rolling, they've already spun around 180 degrees to catch me again. Roll! Fucking roll for once in your life! Fucking roll out of an attack! Like, what's the point of a roll if you can't roll out of an attack? They stumbled. Nope, of course not. He's got enough poise to just ignore it. All of it. Everything. Forever. And ever. I'm just gonna have to fucking heavy attacks only him. Oh, because that doesn't work. Great, good to know. Even, even rapid heavy attacking doesn't work to knock him down. Just poise through everything. I mean, I know warriors do technically have that, where they, like, poise through a lot of stuff when they're doing their charge attacks, but come on. Okay. These fights still suck. Ogres are gonna be a pain in the ass. Ogre strategy. Don't give a crap. Well, this harspud sauce would help a little bit, I suppose. Don't need a rock, thank you. Sorbent rag, no. Mm. Oh great, another two-handed warrior. Because, you know, didn't have enough of those already. Nice fucking fence in my way. Nope, not allowed. You're not allowed to charge anything up, just die. Matrix, don't care. Can't use it anyway. Uh, white sage, I don't even remember what that does. I probably should grab a piece just to be sure. It is locked. Yeah, yeah. I really will have to try and get these ogres to open the gates for me, and that's always a pain in the butt. What am I doing healing? Oh god, I'm down to 11 already. Even just fighting those people burned through, like, all of my healing. <clears throat> if I come back in here with, like, 50 potent green wares. Maybe I can take down one ogre. And I'll definitely have to use my uh, conqueror periaps. Yes, bats. Dead. Good. Let's go ahead and open this. Nope. No key. Whatever. I don't remember where the key is, honestly. We can open that one. Leads to mostly undead, so not really beneficial. Bronze bangles. Hey, buddy, over here. Right here. I need you on this platform right here. Come on, you know you want me. Come on.
No, no, a little further. That was a start. A little more. There you go. Much better. <laughs> that took care of it. Let's see what this even looks like, shall we? goblin that can completely knock me down. I mean, I could probably do this. It's not going to be easy. I'm going to use up all of my Conqueror parry apps doing it, but I probably could do it. Also, Conqueror parry apps might not be the easiest thing to get anymore. I think Pornival might have been the one who was selling those to me. Oh god, that speed at which he went through the grab straight into the drop kick. Yeah, no, this ain't happening. This is not happening. Let's try and press through. I think there's another gate I need to open. It's not gonna matter because you have to kill the two ogres. If you don't kill the ogres, this mission cannot be completed. So ultimately it's not really gonna matter. Even if I open the gates, the guy refuses to acknowledge the mission's done until the ogres are dead. But at the very least, I think I can get through here now. Yeah, I can use it. I can use the path. I can't finish the mission, but I can use the path now. Good. <clears throat> Not that it matters too much, because I've already put a teleport out here, so it's not a big deal. Does this guy ever update his uh, shop? I can't recall. I don't think he does. I think these guys that are way out on the outskirts... Like, these just have one inventory, and it never gets, like, bigger as the game progresses with any new items. <clears throat> Interventive might be useful. I use the time. Oh, no. He does have some new stuff. Potent green warish, give me all of that. He does have some new things. Nothing too useful so far. Direwolf, Saurian, Striped Saurian, Sunpeed, no, none of that. Okay, so they do update their inventories. What has he got that's new here? Nothing there that I want. Hunter shirt? No. Terrific armor, don't care. Red leather, nope. Navy leather, nope. Perfect gauntlets, nope, nope, none of that. Huntsman, no. Nope. Assembled breeches, nah. Hinterland waist, no, definitely not. Nope, nothing. Good time yet? Come back with. Aye, just name it, sir. Uh, one of those, handful of those. All that. Just name it, sir. Well, any new skills I desperately need at the moment?
Nope. Stamina at night. Nope. Don't Whoa. care. Just name it. Come <clears throat> again. Okay. I uh back to Grand Soren. Because I still need to go to that uh northern keep really quick. And I should probably go ahead and grab a bunch more greed warish and some more perhaps. Why not take all the time? Oh wow, they sell for two hundred. Who gives a shit? Time. Like, how worthless can they be? Eighteen of those. Who had the um green cloth absorbent rag? I don't think that any of those with that item. I do need one more light cure though. No, she's got the arrows. I think Fornival was the one who sold me the parry apps, so I don't want to use them up too much. I mean, I have a bunch. I have hundreds of parry apps, but if I have no other source of parry apps for the entire playthrough, I need to be careful how much I use. Oh, no, I only have like 77. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm pretty sure Fornival was the one I was buying them from. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Government seeds, workers' pants. Nope, none of that. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Alright, let's head out. I shouldn't need to use parry apps for any of this one. I'm fighting basic guard guys, and then if I jump into the middle, I fight Julian, but there shouldn't be anything too difficult in this one. And then, uh. When I teleport up to Blue Moon Tower, I mostly just run through the tower, and that sorcerer dude, I think, actually has very little health. Like, he's not very strong. Once you actually back him into a corner. Let's just cut across. I'm gonna get wet doing this, but I don't care anymore. I just wanna get through here fast. up to this area it's interesting how weird this kind of a playthrough is you spend all this time fighting these like smaller enemies like the goblins while farming discipline and trying not to level up with classes that are like non-optimal for strength growth all that sort of stuff so you're fighting all these little enemies for so long like hours and hours ranking up your uh your vocations and stuff and then you turn around and it's like okay we're good we got the bloody knuckle our vocations that we need up are up okay and then it's like let's just ignore all the fights and bum rush through the game to get big big bursts of experience and level up in the classes we want to play as everyone's fighting huzzah seek out mercedes Right here. Viper! You colluded with salvation to work tradition among the two men. <laughs> Whatever. You place me in ill company. I'm a man of this world. Fantasies of death and redemption concern me not one whit. Yeah, no, he wasn't interested in salvation's freaking Legend stoke up the preaching. Masses. If Duke Edmund were to best a second dragon, all he cared about was friggin' like Francis undermining this country. Take the ascendant. But her neighbors ill want the giant looming at their borders, am I wrong? <laughs> Damn me, your sophistry. The word neighbor sours on your forky tongue. Our lands have long sworn on stinting it. Yeah, I see this exactly right here is what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> like. Unstinting. <laughs> they sent like no real help or they sent spies, right? 
not sent your brother, joined by Hearthstone's finest... Hearthstone, that's it. Why am I speaking instead with a bleating she-goat mocked even by her own men? Jesus, dude. You will retract those words, sir! Else suffer what consequence? <laughs> Else I shall wash my own... Such an asshole. And you? You will play her second? I would welcome the challenge. <laughs> Stay out of this. An open mockery of me and my homeland. Uh -huh, sure. So you can stay out of it. I could stay out of this. I don't really need anything. The night's champion. Uh. of your If you're a mystic knight, you should. You should help her fight him. If you're a fighter, you should probably stay out of it. Aside from that, I don't think anything else matters. Like, if you stay out of it, I believe she gives you her rapier. If you fight, then you get his Mystic Knight shield. I think that's the two, the only thing that really changes. Right. And what of those of this land who will die for your peace? Will you stand idly by Sitting here watching them blather land, on like debate club while they throw the swings beasts. at each other. You are no night villain. Pray, think of tomorrow. The dragon will come again <laughs> to your homeland. Yeah, maybe. To mine. Who shall stand against it then? If we are spent, all of us, for having held to some ancient path. <laughs> What is gained yep. by all our deaths? Not, I say, and not would say your lord father. I'm surprised he actually broke that. I've gotten into a loop where I just watch him wailing on her like this. Yeah, kind of like this. Just wailing on her until the dialogue finishes. Bastard! And that's really the only difference. <laughs> Stay out of it, she loses the fight. Intervene and you beat the shit out of him. Is a meager trophy. The men of the fort may have use of you yet. Even a she got skin can Jesus Christ, dude. What? He's no slander beneath you. <laughs> that really is it. He's kind of a horrible scumbag. The duel is well and settled, Arisen. Be gone from my sight at once. Not that it really matters at all. Interfere, no stay out of it, it doesn't matter. Both characters basically disappear from the story at this point. Your failure to quell the revolt is cause enough to run home to Hearthstone, tail twist your legs. <laughs> I tell you this in the spirit of mercy. If you cannot best me, you cannot best the dragon. Run along home while you yet live. <laughs> it's not her job to fight the dragon. <laughs> it's mine. You think me cruel, Arisen. It is a sorry truth that righteousness is a rare luxury in war. You are pledged to slay the worm, and that alone. No oath binds you to the duke. Nor would my death do you any great service. <laughs> no, there but it'd be fun. might call me a monster, but I am no dragon, sir. What say you? <laughs> Whatever. I must make a pitiable sight. I knew. Mm. I am a meager choice to send us aid. I know it well. Still, I... I could not! And that's it for the quest. It is done! But if you desperately want one or the other, I like if you're a fighter a or a mystic sight. knight... I knew. Still. Oh no, wait, I actually have to leave and then she talks to me. I fear I put on a shameful yeah. display. 
<clears throat> Lord Julian had the truth of each every word. I am weak. I serve no purpose here, save as hollow homage to an empty pact. Aids in name only. Hearthstone nor Grancis, there's not a man in either who expected anything else of me. I knew it well enough, mm. tasted it on every breath I drew. Yet still, I fancied myself a knight. Eh. Yeah. Honestly, you're more a knight than most of these I idiots. I return to Hearthstone. Not to lick my wounds, but to petition my Lord Father that Grancy's people receive true aid. I will not send you to meet the dragon with their fates weighing upon you. After, I shall return. I kind of love all of these stories that get like sprouted off. Like, there's probably a good close to like eight or ten characters that basically leave the game at some point if you do their side quests. And uh, most of them are like going off on some big thing they're going to do to kind of like help you against the dragon or something like that, right? Like, she's going back to Hearthstone to get petition for real aid to be sent to Grancis to help have soldiers there to back you up when you go to face the dragon. Uh, Kina goes off to join the church and study medicine and healing so she can find a way to heal like your scar and the curse and all that sort of stuff. Like, there's all these stories that branch off, and it's always like, I'm going off on this grand adventure, and it's all to try and help you. And then you go and fight the dragon five minutes later, and, like, none of it ever amounts to anything. <laughs> like, you go and you fight the dragon five minutes later, and no one's adventure ever, like, circles back around to actually helping you. <clears throat> Who's this one? It was shocking enough to hear salvation at a hand in the Northern Revolt. Tis a painful thing to hear it was Lord Julian. It's been a promise mm -hmm. of old that the neighboring land should band together in times of danger. But I suppose such times are as given to politics and intrigue as any other. Yep. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Up to the north. No? Where? There. Oh, just Grancis, yeah. They don't really have a location name for that. So they should call it Grancis. And back in so I can deal with Worm King's Ring. This is... Yeah, we're really on, like, the fast track to the dragon at this point. Like, I have gone through... I started in one phase, and I've gone through a full phase past that. And if I manage to finish these quests, and then I think the cockatrice fight as well, then I will go through another phase of the storyline. There's like seven or eight phases to this story, and I think I've gone through like three today. <clears throat> See? Open up the back path. So I can go up the back path, ignoring all these idiots along the way, and just go straight up to the boss. Huzzah. <laughs> the Arisen is a profession given to leisure. <laughs> or do you hope to earn your meals catching stray wizards for fear of actually... I do like that I was gathering this dude's Alas, grimoire for Stefan, and he's like, I was following in Salomet's footsteps, this. and that's why I found, found you fighting the griffin. Right? And so when you finally chase this dude down, you chase him out to where the griffin was. Oh, shit. He teleports and shit. Oh, God. I forgot he teleports. How am I supposed to do this fight at all, then? I will see my dream made reality. Do I just have to wait till he finishes his fucking yes. monologue? My very soul will inhabit the ring. In it, I shall be reborn unto life everlasting. Of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> of course his shitty attacks are still hitting me from miles away. 
Can't have me wailing on this dude that's on the ground, can we? I don't even know what that was. What was hitting their shields like a dozen times? Oh, oh, oh! He must have damaged them or set off their shields or something, and now their AI is bugged out so they think they have to attack him. But they're not doing any damage. That's stupid. Their AI bugged out so they think they're supposed to attack him, but they're also not able to do any damage to him. One down. I'll just focus on, like, fighting the ads while he's blathering on about nothing. I really don't need these rift fragments. Okay, so he's still teleporting. Don't know what the game expects of me. Because if you're playing a melee character of any kind, like, there are classes that straight up have no ranged attacks. How do you fight him, then? Of course he got away. Let me try taking down this second guy. See if that's enough. Let's see if that's good enough. Nope, this he still teleports while he's summoning. Magic. Okay. But every time he has to summon new undead, it fucking goes forward one stage in his monologue, basically. So I basically just have to keep killing undead until his monologue pro like progresses enough. I just have to keep forcing him to summon. Can walk forward and fuck everything up by stun locking me out of actually damaging people. Just teleport, idiot. Just teleport away. Stop chasing me. Force him to summon again. Hopefully, more monologue. See, I never have to do this. I never have to actually fight through his soldiers, his undead soldiers. I always come in here with the class that has a bow and I just fucking snipe the shit out of him and do massive damage in one hit and he's dead. Now I even have to fight one of these armor knights. him now. Oh good, one of them attacked him instead of both. So I can just focus on this fight. There we go. Now I can like solo the armor knight, which is much better for, you know, fist only. One on one is infinitely better. the conqueror parry after this. Fuck off. Teleport. Literally, I don't want to... I don't even want you here. Just leave. Oh, great. Yeah, of course he hit me. Only makes sense. That he could get his fucking shield up in every direction imaginable and hit me from every angle. He's just fucking blocking everything until my Conqueror's parry app wears off. Is that what's gonna go on here? going after him again. Nope. 
good because I hit him. What the fuck is with these attack angles? I'll just block everything and then I'll hit nothing. Fuck it, I'm using more. I need to get this guy down while I have him down. Just keep him down, good. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully he's out of summons. You nope. Think you're clever, do you? And of course it's another one of these. Ah oh, god! Double tap me to death, why don't ya? Just fucking stun locked me into a massive hit. Now I have to redo the entire fight because I don't have a bow. This is fucking terrible fight. I've literally never realized just how shitty this Salamet fight is. Because I never have come in here without a bow in my life. I've never realized just how horribly designed and terrible for anyone in Melee this fight is. It is garbage. And he's like, oh, just fucking sit there and monologue at me for 10 hours while I have to fight through 500 waves of undead. Of course, aim at the wrong guy, why don't you? Like, this guy needs one hit to die, so aim at his friend instead. <clears throat> this is true yeah, magic. no. This is just not gonna work. It's just plain saying no to my face. Like, no. No, you don't get to fast track this fight. Even though if you have a bow, you can straight up fast track this fight. I don't know why I suddenly can't. This fight is so fucking terrible for melee. It's like such utter garbage for melee. Literally, you don't have to deal with any of this. Like, if you had to still deal with this with range, like if he would teleport out of the way of your arrows, then maybe this would kind of make sense. But he doesn't. So the fact that, like, literally just coming in here with melee is the worst option is so fucking weird to me. Yeah, sure, don't jump. But I'm fucking mashing the jump button. Don't bother jumping. He fucking blocked while he was mid-flail. I'm so tired of that. The least you could do is have animations match the fucking movements. This fucking shield thing he's got going on is a pain in the ass. But the shield is already worth, like, the worst thing imaginable to me, so the fact that I can't hit it at all doesn't really matter, because I can't break it if I hit it normally anyway. You know what? You know what would be a better option? not because he just gets closer and hits me then come on there you go much better that's how I deal with those guys I need to not forget about my cliff tossing roots don't forget about your cliff tossing roots never forget about those
Fuck off. He didn't teleport away, that's weird. Ugh. Been on a fucking dime again. Okay, he's not teleporting anymore, at least. But I can't fucking hit him. Because the only time he slows down is when he fucking fireballs and those fucking home in and hit me at every angle all the time. Wow, that's surprisingly more health than I thought he had. I remember this being like, once he's done, you just hit him once and he fucking dies. The guy's got shit health. Bye-bye. There we go. Talisman! <clears throat> Money! Yep. On almost any other playthrough, I would take that ring and I would keep it and I would give the Duke a forgery. And a fairy stone, but it's not really worth anything because it never is. Hey, idiot, come over here. I mean, it's cute that you're still over here even though Solomon's dead, but for now... Come on. Don't you want to kill me? You know you want to kill me. Come on. Like, I can keep this up for all, all friggin' day. Lunge at me already. There you go. Much better. Hey, another level up. Good. Uh, is any of this stuff back here restocked? Yes, it has. Griffig armor again, nope, don't care. Don't want it in any way, shape, or form. Assassin mask, don't want it. Uh, that's all of the second phase of quests. Oh yeah, I still have that silver rapier. Mm, should be good. Back to Grand Sorn. I could just sell the silver rapier, doesn't matter. I don't really need to, but it could. I don't know where I'm supposed to get more Conqueror's Parry apps now, though. I'll need to look that up after stream today. Like, where I, if I can get more Conqueror's Parry apps, or if I really screwed myself by letting Fornival get taken away. Oh, did I use the normal fairy stone? Oh, oops. What will it be? Have you come again? <clears throat> All right. Uh, wait. Daytime. It's illegal to go into the Duke's mansion, capsule, whatever area during the night. I mean, you can still do it. You can sneak around there, but if any guards catch you, they toss you out. Hey, Stefan. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, everybody. Going in. go into BBI at some point and get some leveling up going on there, but it'll be difficult. Usually I'd use it to speed level because I just throw blast the bosses, but I can't do that. Most of the bosses are a little too much for me to take down like this. It seems that it was an ill surprise indeed. It is a testament to the ring. We must be vigilant. The ring is reclaimed. A talisman of such power must be kept. The Duke will see. Pray let this lead Mm-hmm, sure, whatever. And now... What? Very well. I shall see to it at once. A matter of a most pressing nature has come to us. Make <coughs> for the Southern Way Castle immediately. I've received a Southern report that one of the Duke's men has returned from afar, gravely wounded. He asks to speak with you in all haste, Arisen. Sure he does. His message was not writ in the report. 
An oversight brought on by haste, no doubt. Yeah, definitely Great. not Light corruption the within the kingdom the at all. Message, sir. <laughs> Certainly not I that. The Duke on another matter, no less urgent. It is a restless day. Yeah, yeah, this is the cockatrice fight. Yeah, this is the cockatrice fight. Uh... Hmm. Should I go for it? You know what? No. I'm good. Let's go ahead and we'll stop the stream there. I want to double check on Conker's Periaps, see if there's a good location that I get more of them. I do know of two or three locations where I can buy Conker's Periaps still, but I can buy them like two or three at a time maximum. And then I'd have to go and like sleep for I think three days or five days or something like that to restock them. So it'd be doable, but tedious. If there's someone who can just sell me infinite amount of Conker's Perry apps other than Fornival, that would be good. So I do want to look that up and see if I completely screwed that up by letting him get thrown in prison. In the meantime, let's go ahead and check out Twitch and see who's live, what they're doing. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Star Rail, no time, 14, old school RuneScape, hmm, Pokemon, Star Rail, Arc, Celeste, hmm. not bad, uh, Progging in 14, you know what? He's actually rated me a few times recently, so let's do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We are going to hop over and say hi to Blue, who's actually rated me a few times recently. And um, I'll be back with the challenge run again pretty soon i may do some other streams in between but i'll get back to it pretty soon hopefully i'll have uh, access to conquer parry apps at which point i'll use them like more aggressively against sort of whatever wherever however i need to if not i may limit myself to only like big boss fights and stuff which will be a little annoying but whatever uh thank you guys for hanging out with me today Oh, well, I got a little further in this challenge run. It's always funny when I'm playing this game and that I love the game and I always have fun with it, but I spend so much time just like harping on again about all the garbage in the game that's like annoying to me. I don't know why I do that, but I always have a lot of fun with the game still. Anyway, thanks guys for hanging out and I will see you all again in a few days. Later, everyone. Have a good night.